everybody, my name is Frankie McDonald. You're listening to Simcast with Chrissy Meyer. I'm Frankie McDonald. I'm Frankie McDonald, and you're watching Simcast, starring Chrissy Meyer. Bondage and like weird sex shit. I don't know. It's a decoration. I stuck my hand in it. Okay, okay, okay. I'll help you. I, I, I thought you had done. I thought you had dabbled occasionally in stand up, so that's why I brought that up. I dabbled occasionally, really. Yeah, I didn't know I, it was if it was a thing you were really doing or not, and you know, I wasn't sure. Oh no, no, no I've been doing stand up for twenty years. I don't oh, dabble. Okay, okay, that's good. But you know what, Chrissy, to say I dabbled in stand-up is so disrespectful. I haven't been disrespectful to you at all. I, I dabbled in stand-up. Okay. I mean, I mean that's so disrespectful, and I'm doing your show. Much like everybody else, see, there's more money in not being my friend than there is to be my friend. Father's Olivia. Day edition. Oh, yes. Olivia! Hi! Hi. Yes, Sorry. yes. Every surprise. I'm so excited. No. Um, <laughs> welcome, welcome. Happy Father's Day, everybody. I am joined by my favorite uh Liberty wrestler, Olivia Rondo. Hello, welcome Hello. back. I'm loving the shirt, I'm loving the cleavage, I'm Thanks. loving all of it. I feel like, you know, yeah. it's Simcast, how to pop them out, you know. <laughs> they, no, that shirt's yeah. so cute. It's, it's so cute. full on Love summer, it. isn't it? Or yeah, I'm also see. in LA right now, so it's like full on, full on summer. Ooh, <laughs> right, because you were debating moving to DC for your boo. Other way around. Oh, shoot. From you to LA. You were in DC and you moved to LA for him. I'm I'm here for the summer. I'm here for the summer. It's more of a test run, but everything's going good so far. So. Oh yay! 
I, yeah, it makes sense to move for love. Well, what else would you move for? You can't move anywhere else because he's a lawyer, so he's only bar certified in California. So I wasn't gonna make him like go through the whole process, you know, in a different state where he doesn't know anything. So yeah, that's a good woman right there. You guys are gonna be. <laughs> it's all gonna work out for you. I can see it. I can see it. Um, hello, and joining us again, the beautiful, the the most conservative of thoughts, Leanne Star. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Hola. You look fancy. You look like you came from a wedding. Like I don't a know. It's wedding. just like a weird Amazon thing. It's Ooh. just I don't know. I love it. I'm obsessed. Thanks. And I love the cross. There's both oh, yeah. and Anna. It's it's very confusing, but I love it. Um, it's supposed to be confusing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And nice. Ashton, Ashton is here looking like uh, an anime schoolgirl. <laughs> That's what people are saying. Uh, I asked, I didn't think about this, but I wore my red coat when flying into Boston today. So I'm not sure if that was a smart idea or the brilliant idea or really just plain stupid, but Isn't I'm enjoying that, it. What is that? Is, is that part of Boston lore? The red coat? Uh, it's not, not so much, I guess, lore, if you want to call it that. But yeah, that's this is where the Boston Massacre happened, the Boston Tea Party. Uh, this is where all the red coats showed up and... <laughs> We, we American spot red coats is basically the British. So yeah, I, I wasn't thinking about this. I got a lot of attention in the airport and I was like, wow, a lot of people like my coat. And then I was like, Oh, of course. Okay. <laughs> what were people in the airport going like, what's up red coat? No, I, I just got I, a lot of people are like, wow, I really like your coat. And I was like, thank you. It's my favorite coat. And you know, I, I, I like this coat, but I, I didn't, I was like, why are some people in my coat today? I'm like, Oh, Maybe they might be a war reenactor. Maybe. I'd be a really <laughs> sexy war reenactor <laughs> with yeah. this pleated skirt. Maybe they just thought you were hot and they were like, oh, she's wearing red. I'll just say something about that. Yeah. That's what Good I thing. do. Yeah, they can't say I like your skirt because then it's like they're looking at your ass or your vagine. So they have to say like <laughs> coat. Uh, I did say skirt, but that's what they meant. I did mm -hmm. order tea when I went out to eat with some friends and Clint, of course. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I got ordered some tea and I'm thinking to myself, oh, okay, because my friend told me this joke saying, do not order tea when you go to any restaurant. Like it, it's against really? like Boston. Well, she was joking. And the, so whole, I, the whole tea and the water thing, aren't they over yeah. that? Um, I mean, I'm not over. I think it's pretty badass what they did back in uh you know back during the revolution but i Amazing i'm a tea, tea drinker i'm a tea drinker of anything else and so i ordered tea and the guy's like let me just check with my boss really quick and i'm thinking oh my gosh this is real i'm about to get thrown out of this <laughs> restaurant and the guy had to come back and be like hey we're sorry we're out of black tea but is green tea okay with you i'm like yes yes it's fine yeah they're just so, totally against tea now yeah no well no it, it <laughs> but there are some places in boston that like refuse to sell tea because it's like part of history and whatnot which you know i can i guess i can respect you know wow you're like i'm okay with black tea green tea whatever it is i'm throwing it in the ocean or whatever yeah yeah the creek what did they what body of water did they throw it into it's the ocean yeah it's the, the harbor the boston you're just, harbor you're just making a uh, one very diluted cup of tea there all right cool yes <laughs> Welcome, guys. I, I'm having kind of like a we. Oh, and for those of you in the chat that are wondering where Gavin is, he should be here in about an hour or so. Um, he's he's visiting some uh, some people who might be in prison. He's being a good dad. He's being a good daddy. Daddy Delf. Yeah, I saw a lot of Delfs out today. Um, really? Did you guys I never see any? Really? All right. No. Chris is no. dating a Delf. I am dating a Delf. Yeah. <laughs> It's 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 a big deal dating a Delph. You gotta you gotta keep it tight. Um, but I didn't <laughs> I didn't even I didn't I don't know what your guys all relationships with your dads are. I mean, Le I can guess Leanne's relationship with her dad, but I don't really know. No, I'm just fucking. Well, around. he's um, dead, but it was oh good. no. <laughs> yeah, but it was like good. My dad was very goofy. Like, yeah, okay. he like sold coke back in the day and cocaine. Yeah. Wow. He's changed, but like he was, yeah. But he was like cool. I don't know. That's <laughs> awesome. See, I have a, I have like a a tough relationship with my dad. Like I didn't call him today because I was like, uh, yeah, it's okay. I did send him a card. I didn't call. And everyone, I have friends who are like, you know, you just need to call him. You have to just suck it up. You have to. Uh -huh. And I'm like, okay, this this phone call would be something that would make him feel great and me feel awful because it's just like I can't 
have a conversation with him anymore without feeling like totally depleted. Mm. And the, the more honest I am with him, the more it seems to like trigger his anger. And the only way to be around him is just to like phone it in and yes him on everything. And just like basically not be myself is yeah. the only way to have no conflict. So That's why I don't like when people say, oh, it's your family. Well, if your family member is a toxic asshole, then I'm not going to like, I'm, why? Who cares? Like, if you're going to be an asshole, like, I don't want you in my life. And it's and like, OK, oh, you have to understand. Oh, well, you know, people have issues. It's like, OK, an understanding punching bag is still a punching bag. Yeah. Like, your family can be <laughs> shitty, too. Like, you shouldn't have to, like, push yourself through that if you don't want to. If they're, like, toxic. Fuck that. I don't know, Olivia. What do you think I should do? I mean, Especially if they make you miserable and anxious. I'd be like, you know what? I'm just not going to hang out with you anymore. <laughs> That's yeah. super relatable to me. I think my dad is probably a narcissist, and our oh, conversations yeah. are, are, are very, very similar. I have very, very limited contact with him for this reason. So I called my grandfather today. I spent the day. Um, I went to church with my boyfriend and his dad. You know, I, I did oh. say things, but with my actual immediate dad, there, there, there needs to be some distance and space there. I mean. He's way more than just a narcissist. I feel like, um, not to get too deep, we're like just like starting. Yeah. But I had like a really, really crazy childhood, and there is some abusiveness going on there. So it it has been even a long time to even like sometimes talk to him. It's been a long time, like hard work and stuff on myself. So that makes yeah. me feel yeah. better because it's just like, well, it's the day, and it's like, oh, okay. You're not alone at all. Mm -mm. If my dad wouldn't have changed, I wouldn't have talked to him because he was abusive to my mom, too. Like, so I would have been like, fuck you. But he did change. So, you know, it's fine. But yeah, fuck that. It's tricky because it's like there's I don't even know if he's picked up on the fact. Like, I don't even know if he knows if I didn't call him today on purpose because i did send a card like he might not even wait you, you sent know, him a card that should be i good did enough. i sent him a card because we like we're very much like a card family but I yeah right i normally write like paragraphs like meaningful paragraphs to like people in my family but i just wrote like thinking of you and i'm like is he gonna notice that i didn't write as much as i normally write and i'm like he doesn't mm -hmm. he may not even know not give a fuck maybe he didn't even open the thing um it's, it's just tricky because the last three times I saw him, I left in tears and like oh, not fuck on good that. Terms. You sent him a card. That so. would be good enough, man. If he's making you cry and stuff. No, fuck that. Who cares if it's Father's Day? It's just a made up Hallmark holiday anyway. I should have sent want him. You to buy stuff. I should have sent him a Juneteenth card. I, that would have been <laughs> great. Yeah, I, you should. Whoever. They just said the Juneteenth thing. Pride has taken over. Pride has taken over. Have taken over. Like, day. hey, dad, time to come out of the closet now. Love well, you. he kind of did to me. He said he had a gay experience. So uh, that was what? the last. That was the last. Yeah, that's, time we were talking about so that's why I don't talk to my dad anymore because he's gay. Really? <laughs> no. Dude, oh, I was say our dad's <laughs> good friend. Was your, dad gay lives, dads. your dad lives well, in Florida. We should. They should exchange numbers. <laughs> No, that'd be funny. My dad's like a mega homophobe, so the exact opposite. My dad is uh, at least <laughs> bisexual. He's at least, you know, yeah. So uh, it's really tricky. It's really hard because, like, my whole life I'm used to overlooking people's issues and, like, not calling people out on stuff and just going with the flow, being empathetic, you know, just being a woman, basically, and uh, yeah. making excuses for people and I don't know. It's it sucks because he would never go to therapy. He would never. And it's like, OK, yes, he had an abusive father. Yes, he had like kind of a traumatizing childhood, like whatever. Who knows? Who knows if he was um, molested or something? I wouldn't be surprised at this point. Anything is possible. But it's like unless you want to fix that on your own, like you're everyone in your life that's close to you is going to be a mirror of your issues. Mm hmm. I mean, uh, I feel like a lot of people go through trauma and they're not assholes, so it's possible, you know, or weird or. <laughs> yeah, so. it's a tricky. It's It was funny. I have to make a bit about this, I think, because I went to the gym this morning and the the trainer lady was like, <laughs> she was so I go to this like F45 gym where you show up and they tell you what to do 45 minutes. And I like it because I have to think you just go, you know, someone yells at you and then you're done. You sweat. You feel good about yourself. And she was like, um, today we're celebrating, you know, it's Father's Day, but it's but it's also pride still. So she put together this playlist. She's like, 
everybody on this playlist is a gay man. And I'm like, I don't just tell me to do the fucking push ups. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need to uh, every song I hear has to be a guy who's taking it in the butt. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, I, I don't like need to be thinking cares? about that as I, as I do my squats. Like, I don't need to be visualizing uh, each singer for each song. To be fair, some of them only put it up the butt, they don't take it up the butt. So, True. There's to be fair, effect. Freddie Mercury is actually pretty influential when it comes to working out and losing weight. So it might actually help something. Because what, he was like on a lot of coke probably? No, did no, he just, have AIDS? No, it's Queen, just a great <laughs> band. Did great Freddie music. Mercury have AIDS? Yeah. yeah. So that, died from something that's else. A, I mean, that's a really easy way to lose weight, just get AIDS. Well, he probably listened to Dr. Fauci's advice back then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, the, Freddie Mercury obviously is great. Queen is great, undeniable. But I just was like, it was a little too themed for me today. But it's all good. It's all good. The balloon, the the pride balloon mural is sort of shrinking and losing air. So that's make that makes me. I'm kind of really offended happy. they didn't include like a Juneteenth in the playlist. So it should be like black gay dad music. Like it is sh- right. <sighs> Are there any black gay dad <laughs> music, like recording artists? Um, Drake. Okay, boom. Is Drake gay? <laughs> no, he just seems gay as fuck to me. I'm sorry. He does. His he's hair, like bi. Seems, his face seems he's gay. So effeminate to me because he's so well manicured. Really gay. That's yeah. Cool. yeah. <laughs> he's well manicured. It's tricky there. Red Rooster. Oh, Brittany's not here yet. We'll save that. Brittany was like having a headache. She might not be here. Um, yeah, Gavin should be here in an hour or so. So I'll save that Gavin comment for him. Nesquik, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, past and present. And yes, even the dad bods and questionably gay dads. <laughs> what are your I mean, guys' feelings on dad bods? I don't care. I mean, I don't know why it's like a thing now, but I mean, I guess it just depends on the person. I don't really know if it's like hot. Because they can yeah. really range. So I don't know. Can't say all of them are. Clint got really, true. he got really, uh, I don't know, not offended, but just like insecure because we got in the car on the way to the airport. And by the way, Clint's with me, by the way. Chris, if you want to say hi. Uh, hi, Clint. Clint. Uh, Clint, Clint he, uh, dad? No, as the thing is, we got in the okay. car, we got our Uber on the way to the airport, and the guy just asked, he goes, Happy Father's Day. And like Clint goes, Yeah, oh, happy Father's man. Day. And he's like, he asked Clint, like, oh, are you a dad? And Clint <laughs> goes, <laughs> Exactly. And he goes, Not yet. And like, I don't think the guy realized like people kind of give like a weird side eye to Clint when they find out he's not a dad. And I think Clint was like kind of like taken back because of Does it give like, off no. dad vibes he a little bit dad. honestly because people sometimes ask me like is clint a dad like is how like is clint a dad and i'm like no like why would you say that like why would you think that and they think like he's got like a baby mama in california or something but no he doesn't i think like he kind of feels weird about that question because i think he wants to be a dad or like he feels like at that age he should be a dad so i don't know yeah but he's a man, so his sperm is going to be good for a minute, you know? Yeah, but you don't want to be like, you know, Hugh Hefner, who's popping them out at, like, 70. You know what I'm saying? But, like, but you can pop out kids old as a dude, and, like, I mean... But, like, what are you going to do for them? Like, you can't true. play catch, you can't, like, you know, do stuff with them. Mm. That's true. You can't help them, like, climb a fence. Yeah, what do dads do? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, what do dads do? Uh, they look at the, they open the hood of your car and look inside of it for two hours, and then they, they know yeah. how to do the remote. <laughs> I'm intimidated by the remote control. That's a man's territory to me. Um, let's see here. Tits out for Father's Day. When can we expect stuttering John on the panel? No, never. In fact, he's quitting comedy. So why? I don't know. Uh, some people blame me. <laughs> some I people. haven't watched any of his stuff in so long, so I don't really know what he's about now. Like, I don't know if he's the same. I but... think he's the same. I, I think he blames people. Okay, so this is I'm gonna pull this up. Um, Carl from Who Are These Podcasts has been covering it way more extensively than I have. So, uh, and this is of course Carl letting people know, like, don't fuck with John in real life. But I don't know if that's supposedly he claims that people tried to cancel him canceling his gigs i think that the gigs just like weren't selling enough tickets so that the 
the mm. venue had to be like, we're canceling the show because is this the, is this the dabbler you're talking this, about? This is the dabbler. Yeah, this is the dabbler. What the hell does that mean? He's the well, guy who dabbles in comedy. I oh. interviewed him on my <laughs> podcast. This was like I really stepped in it with this guy. So he was famous for being like basically a wag packer on the Howard Stern show. Yeah, that's how I know him. That's what I day. And he just was hired because he had a stutter and got very, very famous off very little. Uh, and it has been basically coasting off of that since like the early aughts, maybe late 90s. Yeah. And I had him on my podcast like two years ago, like peak pandemic, you know, just, hey, this is the famous stuttering John. And he he gets on, you know, he, he gets on my podcast. He obviously thinks he's hot shit. Wait. Like this is like I should be honored to have him on this podcast. And then I'm just asking. No. I asked him a question about do you think Trump has been good for comedy? And he blew up at me. He was like. He's like, is this whole interview going to be about Trump? I'm like, no, this is literally just a question I'm asking all of the stand-up comics that I talk to because it's topical. And, like, I know that you sort of dabble in stand-up. And he's like, what? What? I dabble? And it's, like, part of that whole clip that you saw oh, on the God. intro. And he couldn't get over the fact that I called him. Wait, but, this man's dabble for stuttering? Uh, yeah, he was on the Howard Stern show, and he just had a stutter. And I guess he would, I don't know, call people sometimes. I don't really know. I didn't really, like. Me either. I, I just could, my dad much. would listen to it and People like. People can be uh, famous for stuttering. Why? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I can barely make words. He's out not of the my main mouth. one. Why I am I not though? famous? It's like uh, other people he had on, which I can't remember their names right now. But not him. Everyone Please. had some sort of defect, and the like it was my you know. first introduction to this guy. I have no idea who this guy is, so that was my only impression. And I so love. So why him. is he famous though? <laughs> like just because he can stutter? Like because he could do yeah. things with stuttering? Yeah, he was. I don't know. He was just call you up your show. He did my podcast two okay. years ago, like my interview podcast, the long form one. And uh, it just from that moment where I said, I like you dabble and stand up and he couldn't get over it. He like he was like upset for the whole rest. of the, It derailed the whole interview. And the first half was great because we talked about his heyday. And then when I asked him about stand up and I said, you kind of dabble in stand up. Right. He's like, what? The fact that I didn't call him like a seasoned headliner. And I'm like, what? I just haven't seen your name on any marquee of any place that I've performed. So like, you know, you're usually aware of the Why people that are at your level though? and doing better. And I just you know wasn't seeing his name why around. is that an insult why is dabbling an insult exactly though? that's what people get mad at the dumbest yeah. shit even i just if you're my brain doesn't than, understand yeah. why even if you're like, more what? than a dabbler like even if it's like i'd be like oh olivia you dabble in going on fox news you would laugh because you you know in your heart like you go on pretty often or whatever yeah i wouldn't yeah. take any offense in my mind that's like you even if you truly did not know how many how often I go on Fox, I would be like, oh, this is an opportunity to talk about that. You know, like, why no, would you I do that somebody doesn't know every little thing that you do? Yeah. Especially I, when I wouldn't expect anyone to know your... anything I do ever at any right. time. Like, I, like what? <laughs> I wish I had I a fraction of his confidence. Yeah. I'm just, I'm thinking with the William Defoe meme where he's like, you know, I'm somewhat of a, I'm just thinking, you know, I'm sort of a dabbler myself, Chrissy. <laughs> yeah, Isn't yeah, yeah. everyone technically a dabbler at something? Yeah. Like, why is that? Weird. There was another like Wagpacker character called High Pitch Eric, and he actually still, you know, is, I guess, working and making appearances uh, and has a podcast, I guess, right now. So this Stuttering John guy, I guess these shows were canceled and now he's, uh, he's saying he's going to quit comedy now. It's mm. all your fault, Chrissy. You did think this. That it's like the the ripple effect, but also kind of my fault. So I don't know. I hope. Wait, he is he like going. a big anti Trumper or something? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's a flaming course. liberal. Like, but oh like, good. you know, don't ask me anything. Like it's like Voldemort. Like God, just answer the fucking question. He just repeats like the same five talking points. I mean, like. Probably somebody could say that of me too, but I, don't oh God, know. I, I have to tell you this because I, I just found out before I came on. I was like arguing with someone, uh, of course, awoke. They awoke. <laughs> told me that Vouch, Hassan Piker, and some other person are thought leaders in the community. <sighs> thought leaders, those are your thought leaders, dude. I think you're a thought leader, Liam, but it's spelled it's like that's what I said. I was like, what do you mean? I was like, Lana Hold Rhodes on. is a thought leader. Uh, I was like, we shouldn't <laughs> even have those for one. Like, Wait. and if that's who you're like, what? Like, what? you know, liberals don't even like Vosh. Yeah, liberals exactly. Don't I'm even like, like, I don't, like that's your I don't really leader. understand who Vosh is. Like, I keep 
hearing him people bring him He's up a bread tuber here's the thing about vosh is that even liberals don't like vosh or Hassan <laughs> piker even they're sick of them so this like idea they're either. somehow the thought leaders of the liberal movement is insane um no 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 there there are liberals who prefer to listen to tim pool all day than Hassan piker and vosh oh wait they're God. two different people I was yeah. like, you're doomed, dude. Okay. Is Bob the guy that like defended um CP that one time and like then pedos? Yeah, no, that's so. destiny, isn't it? Or aren't they I think oh. they actually said him too. I don't know if there was some See, other person though that they named, but I can't remember. I have the left hates it. destiny. The left canceled destiny like two weeks ago. All of these really? people you're listing. Destiny's the left hates. on the on the gig I'm doing uh next Saturday. Just, I at, actually uh, like theater. I, don't a lot of people still like him though. Well, that's because the left canceled him, and now he's kind of like tiptoeing around the right wing, I guess. How was he canceled? What was he, he canceled? To he basically said what happened was he basically pulled a J.K. Rowling. So he's still liberal, but all he said was, "Hey, you know, maybe biological men who tra-. and by the way, uh, let me explain this. Destiny is the reason there's such a huge trans influence on Twitch. He him I, actually, I, I don't know what his pronouns actually are. I think." I don't, never mind. But the point is, Destiny is a huge influence in Twitch having a lot of trans influencers. And all they said was, hey, you know what? Maybe there shouldn't be biological men who even transition to being women in women's sports because there is a, an advantage. And boom, his entire career was oh, ruined. Wow. He got taken yeah, off he Twitch. Actual everyone everyone no, that he gave a reality. platform to. All the trans activists he gave a platform to canceled him. Like, they hate him. So now he's like, well, this is what the right wing was warning me about, and I didn't listen. So, wow. And there are leftists, by the way, who are waking up to this free speech issue, and they are sort of understanding what's going on. Um, but it's it's ridiculous. He basically a lot of these people who are left wing, who are liberals, are like, you know what? Let's be a little rational about this, and they're just their lives are being ruined. That's why you never give in, dude. You never apologize because they do not care. They well, want the to destroy is- you. They don't care if you I apologize. Think, they're still going to destroy is- you. I don't think it's the entire left anymore, which is why I try avoiding saying the left, because a lot of leftists and liberals are now starting to, you know, quote unquote, understand this free speech issue. Um, But I I think there's going to be a huge culture shift with free speech pretty soon. And it's not going to be like it was in 2016, hopefully, because in 2016, a huge reason why I was kind of pushed into a corner of calling myself, quote unquote, conservative was because I was at, you know, I was at a college campus where I was being bullied just for saying, you know what, let's not call all Trump supporters Nazis. And because I said that I got pushed into a corner and ended up, you know, dabbling in the things I did for a couple of years. The problem isn't so much left and right. The problem is that we're being forced into these left and right boxes. That's the issue. When the case is, is that the most important thing out there is free speech and it's being attacked like no other. We should be able to speak our minds about whatever. Because the truth is people are too complex to be left or right. But by not having free speech, we're not able to actually express that. True. And and me and Ashton took the uh, where are you on the political field test. And she is a uh, she's libertarian, but she's like a little bit like a sneeze to the left. Yeah, barely. Yeah. Like I'm more so middle. But yeah, I, I I see how liberal like leftist libertarian actually makes sense for me, honestly. Tits out wants to know, did Ashton say she wants to bang a filing cabinet? Ooh. Uh, I- I would not bang filing cabinet. I believe he is Chrissy's property. But, you know, in, in Chrissy's own sometimes words, by the other, way. Sometimes other papers get in the filing cabinet. Who knows? You know, in Chrissy's I don't know own words. what's in there. <laughs> I was quoting Chrissy's quote on uh, Instagram. So just quoting Aww. Chrissy. I stalk Chrissy on Instagram, by the way. She's got good, work- good. workout routines. You should. You should. Always. Kinky Sphincter, thank you for becoming a member. Thank you. Thank you. Nice Pat name. Maloney. <laughs> Pat Maloney. Chrissy single-handedly desto- destroyed Stuttering John in Hot Water and Frost. No. All right. Well, okay. Stuttering John, maybe. In Hot Water, no. Frost, <laughs> no. She destroyed herself. Please and thank you. Tyler M. Greetings to my fellow Slytherin, Ashton. Snakes for life. Hello, other ladies as well. Chrissy, you're my favorite tits on the U of tubes because you're funny as Biden falling off a bicycle. Also, boobs. Someone wow. made the funniest joke about Biden's bicycle, by the way. And, and and the funny thing is I'll talk to my leftist friends and they don't like Biden either. Even they're like, you know what? Like we 
we're liberal, but this is a little ridiculous. Watching that video of Biden being on a bicycle, it's like, if the dude can't ride a bicycle, why should he be president? And second of all, is you got this guy who's who's basically controlled by everyone around him. You got people who are handling him, trying to prop him up properly. It's almost as if the bicycle is more sentient than he is. Yeah. What do you guys the bicycle think? Bicycle is running this country. Bicycle gate. Do you think I mean obviously his team was like, let's throw him up on a bike, let's get him, let's get some footage of him riding a bike so people can feel like they trust him r- running the country. Wow. Yeah. At, at what point are we gonna call this what it is, which is elder abuse? Because if this if, if Joe Biden was the CEO of a company, the board members would have gotten together and removed mm-hmm. him because he's incompetent and because he is mentally and physically, you know, depreciating. Like he's just not well. He's elderly. He should probably be a Walmart greeter, if anything, like yeah. or retired to Florida or something. Mm-hmm. But he would not be in charge of a business, a company, an organization. I mean, he it would just not be capable, which just go, which just tells me, I mean it's a puppet type situation. So I can't be mad at him. Like I think um, his whole career in politics, I've, I've always been very critical of him. You know, the 94 crime bill, we have, um, you know, the, the vaccine mandates, all this inflation, gas prices. Like I'm very critical of him. But at the same time, I'm like, this is like someone's granddad. Like That's like, what I said. It's yeah. elder abuse. It's just dragging, fucked up to see it. They're just dragging him out like this. And this is just oh, look at everyone, and I don't know why they put him on this fucking bike. When I honestly don't right. think it was funny. Like it's fine, but like people were just making it seem like it's this. Hel- it wasn't even a funny fall though. It wasn't like a comical fall. It was just kind of like this old guy falling, and I was like. I don't look at it as like, oh, victory is ours. Like, it's just stupid. No, it's just sad. Like, the dude is falling apart, and he's our president. It's embarrassing. Like, yeah. I don't like him, but god damn, it wasn't that funny. People, he had people, so many people jokes. behind him. There should have been some people on either side of him. He should have had, like, pillows strapped to his yeah, body. Yeah, I don't even know why he was doing it. Why? to pr- What are you I, trying I to prove, dude? We all know that you're a crumbling. I was one of the people making jokes, okay? I made a meme. I put the Life Alert logo on it. I put it up. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Well, that's like an <laughs> advertisement. That's not even, like, a meme. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Where is that? Is that <laughs> It. I was like, this guy sniffs kids, okay? This guy yeah. sniffs little girls, so I don't feel that bad. Where did you? Oh, you did. Oh my god, I have to show this. Here's what I say: Our country meme. is crumbling the way our, our president is. Like it, it's like when uh, Trump first became president, and everyone's <laughs> like, "Man, I hope Trump does a bad <laughs> job." And it's like, why would yeah. you want the president to do a bad job? It's like saying that you want the pilot to crash the plane you're in because exactly. you don't like the That's pilot. What I, said. I was like, I don't want him to fucking fail. Look what he's doing. Like, fuck. <laughs> But that is an advertisement. They should buy that off of you, that design, (laughs) because that is exactly what he needs it for or anybody. I don't know any other 80 some year old that's or whatever. Is he 80 or 70? He's got to be 80. I think. Did he get ice cream after this? That's why I really want to Probably. His legs look way younger than 80 or 70. Like, doesn't look like he has young legs. Like, he Botox his legs. Like, they're not like <laughs> oh really. Why was he got legs? He looked suddenly like his face got so tight. Like, when he. Yeah. He, he must have. He's, had, so he's like, had multiple he facelift. Heard, he definitely had a face. Maybe lift. he had a leg lift. Because why is his skin so smooth and shiny? Like, what the fuck? The kids, they would sit in the pool and. Yeah, it's weird. Maybe it's, it's from hairy- all the kids stroking yeah. them, I guess. It's the hairy legs. It's just so strange. <laughs> yeah, he is 80. Confirmed. Yeah, he's been 80 for a minute. I don't think this is a real world anymore. I think, I think honestly, we're just in a Sims game. And, like, whoever is running a Sims game is just messing with all of us. It, like, this this world cannot be real. It's too chaotic. I don't like mm. this. I Your feel point like is it- correct, though, Olivia. Like, about, like, if he were in charge of any company... If, if it's like we're treating our own president with kid gloves, or and as we call them in my family, mayor mittens. Like we, the four yeah. members, they would have met and kicked his ass out. They would have given him a nice retirement plan. They would have been like, Joe, we love you. Thanks for taking this, yeah. this company to the top. Um, you, you don't know where you are. You called your wife, your sister, and you said you're running for Senate when you're running for president. Just take, you know, take the rest of your time off. Go have fun. What do you, I mean, what's the ripple effect? Like, how does the rest of the world, when they see these, these events keep happening, it's like, could it get any worse at this point? Like, could we be any more embarrassing to the rest of the world or 
it's just no, I know someone that lives in Saudi head. Arabia though, and they said that their news people will like say shit about him all the time, like he's incompetent and like a joke, a clown, basically, yeah. and shit. And I'm like, damn. And he's trying to like talk to them about giving us oil, and meanwhile they're over there clowning him on the news and shit. Like, oh lord. I'm saying that Trump's tweets were like the biggest embarrassment ever, and I'm not like defending a lot of his tweets because yeah, he has some out of pocket shit to say, but <laughs> I prefer that embarrassment. It was Look, kind yeah. of for that over somebody who's just falling, um, and just doesn't know where he is all the time. Like, they never knew what he was going to do, so he, like, kept them, like, you know, on their toes. This dude, no. They don't care at all. I will say this. is I did enjoy Trump's tweets. Even I did, too. Oh, I thought they were oh, hilarious. Oh, we got a friend. We got a friend on the screen. Uh, I will say I did enjoy on. Trump's tweets, <laughs> even, like, on days I disliked him. After what he did to Assange, I will never forgive him what he did to Assange. But at the end of the day, his Twitter was hilarious. Yeah, no, it was way more ever. entertaining yeah. than anyone on there now. Like, Twitter sucks. They need to bring him back if they want to. Well, I don't think he'll go back, but. Do you think Elon Musk is actually going to save Twitter? I'm a little skeptical of Elon I'm Musk. I'm skeptical. I'm very I'm skeptical. Kind of. He on, seems to be dragging his feet. He was on Twitter defending, like, red flag laws and shit. So, um, mm -hmm. I, uh, I really I is a red flag law? I don't trust him. He was, he was talking about how, um, I need to find the tweet again, but he was talking about, I think he said something about. This was after the Uvalde whatever shooting. Trump, well, Trump defended uh, red flag laws as well. The red flag laws has to do with you won't let certain people buy guns, basically. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we already have that? Age. Let me let me try to find the exact tweet again. It was really stupid. But they literally were on CNN telling they were saying that Elon Musk is a white supremacist and he's handing the far right Twitter. Like these people, oh. that's why you have to say left and right because they're so unhinged. When, why is Elon Musk a white supremacist? And who the fuck is far right? Far right is anyone that doesn't agree with them or like, you know, wants to tell kids about sex, apparently. Then you're far right. Like, yeah. really? JK Rowling is considered far right. Yeah, by the like, way, get now. the fuck out that of here. Now Elon Musk is bad and like he's alt right and far. Like, come okay, on. Okay, so like, you're just said ridiculous. He it's said ridiculous. assault rifles, assault rifles. Note that he said that term assault rifles should at minimum require a special permit where the recipient is extremely well vetted. And there was another tweet that I had. Isn't that already a thing? Yeah. Yes. I had to get vetted before buying my guns. Yes. He's literally, he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about with guns. And that really pisses me off because he has Here's such a huge thing. platform. Trump has said that too. Trump has promoted red flag laws as well. And I have an issue with that. And okay. Dan Crenshaw and all these the GOP I, I, I get it. I, I criticize these people as well. I mean, I don't live you agree with me. I, I was pointing okay. that out because I feel like that needs to be said as well. Like, this isn't just liberals, this isn't just the billionaires, it's the GOP types as well. Oh, yeah, so that's sure. why I'm pointing it out. Like, why yeah, they suck you know, ass I hate too. both parties? They all suck in everything, honestly. Like, Kevin McCarthy is the fucking worst, yeah. dude. Like, get him out of there. <laughs> A red flag law is a gun control law that permits various police, family members, coworkers, and others to petition a state court to order the temporary removal of firearms from a person who they believe may present a, a danger to others or themselves. Yikes, that sounds like it won't take very much. Yeah, it'll be like Twitter in real life where people just don't yeah. like you. They call your employer and try to get you Can't fired. And like, it, that does not work. They are going to abuse the shit out of that. Refusal, uh, um, a judge can make the determination to issue the order based on statements and actions made by the gun owner in questions. That means probably tweets. That means probably Everything. anything posts you make on social media. Uh, refusal to comply with the order is punishable as a criminal offense. After a set time, the guns are returned to the person. Yeah, right. <laughs> from whom they were seized unless the court hearing extends the period of confiscation. Okay, You'll, like, so take a wow. weird book out at the library and then they'll flag you. Like, no, like, these. Dude. And these laws are already okay. Let's see how well do I know states: Florida, New York, Virginia, Massachusetts, Connecticut. What is that? Rhode Island. Fucking uh, what's this one? I Illinois. Fuck. <laughs> uh, Illinois. Illinois. Illinois um, Oklahoma. New Mexico. Nevada. Oklahoma has anti red flag you know, laws. Kansas. Uh, California, obviously. Nevada. Washington and Oregon, and then oh, anti red flag laws in Oklahoma. I love that. I'm surprised Florida Based. has 
kept it. Miami and Orlando. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, and here's the thing, too, is that red flag laws do exist. So if you have had a history of, like, mental disability and whatnot and, like, what, you know, all that, you basically have to go through a court in order to register for guns and what I've been through the whole process and it, it was a pain in the butt to go through because, you know, I did deal with depression and anxiety and yeah, the whole world knows of my, my past traumas and whatnot. But like, I did work my butt off to get through that. But um, at the same time, the problem is there's a huge difference between someone like me who's passed through my own traumas and depression, and anxiety and got better versus someone who is clinically freaking insane. Have so, at all exactly what i'm saying is that, but- saying you who struggles maybe like let's let's tell like a rape survivor hey maybe you have ptsd you're struggling with depression anxiety you exactly. can't protect yourself sorry yeah i know you, Fuck and most of my issues do. most of my issues did come from trauma of yeah. abuse and that's why i felt the need to protect myself from certain situations uh so it was a pain in the butt to go through those court orders it took me like two and a half years to go through everything and basically prove to them hey like I'm doing well. I'm doing okay. Like I've gone through training. I, I'm registered in Georgia. I should be registered in California. Like I fought my butt off to get my stuff registered in California. And then I moved to Florida. So now I got, I had to re-register everything. It, it's a pain in the butt. It really is. But again, it's been proven to me not clinically insane by a judge in a court, you know, after years of going through therapy and whatnot, I shouldn't have to re-register everything, go through everything over and over and over again. Every time I move, that's insane. Yeah. yeah, if it's that hard now, imagine what these laws do. They're just going to call on people they don't like, and then they're going to go and take them because it's, you know, an emergency or whatever the fuck they want to call it. That's I don't like that shit, man. The definition people are crazy if they think that's a good idea. and bigotry has been extended so fucking far. From the and by the way, thing. gun that laws? Parent who's, who, who is against the drag queen story hour at their kids' elementary school is now going to be fucking red flag law because, oh my god, that's uh, bigotry. Right. Yeah. Ah, You're trans Yeah. And and Olivia. Olivia getting charged with a hate crime. Did you see that? For going into a story time in a school? And the co- they called the cops because they said he was like being threatening and they're charging him with a hate crime was he trying to shut it down or he was like doing what, what Alex Stein did basically at just filming and asking them shit like i don't know everything he asked them but it wasn't like threatening but they're Where charging him with that. where was this i don't know i seen it on matt walsh i just can't remember exactly where it was there was a guy i saw like two three days ago that spray painted the word groomer on a public library i believe and he okay was that's that's friend. public Vandalization. It starts with a hate crime, though. That's so stupid. Wow. Like, I, get char- I get, I get public vandalism, but he was charged with a hate crime because it was a. This is an anti-gay slur. See how they fucking come. Yeah. Oh wow. Groomer means you hate gay people. Yep. Apparently. Oh, which means we're accepting groomer now. Like, yeah, they're exactly. literally claiming the word groomer. That's how fucking. So if I call the GOP a bunch of groomers, is that a hate crime? Yeah, you're calling them gay. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you're Alex Stein, it is. Uh, I mean, aren't the gay people mad that they're associating that word with them, like, completely legally I'm, now? I'm fucking mad about it. I'm biased. Because when you say that, I don't think of gay people first. I think of a pervert, not a gay person, That's just what I'm any saying. pervert. Or anyone who basically molds yeah, someone Yeah, like, I don't think of a gay person automatically. That's so, wait. Kinda, so, gun laws, racist. gun laws that, are actually... <laughs> Gun laws are actually derived from racism because the original gun laws were to make sure Native Americans and black people couldn't own guns. And that's why the Black Panthers actually charged into the California state capitol with their guns on their hip to make a statement. So when people talk about, you know, storming the capitol or not, the first thing that goes into my head is seeing what the Black Panthers with their guns on the hips storming the California capitol because gun laws were originally pushed in this country to make sure black people and Native Americans couldn't own guns. I heard that the. <laughs> I'm saying, happy June. Where, where are the liberals? Where are the liberals talking about this? You're gun right. laws should piss people off who are anti-racism. Is what I'm saying. Like they're founded on racism. You know who else? They don't was look at it the like capital? that. They told them not to look at it like that, so they don't. A few producers from uh, the Colbert show actually stormed the Capitol and they were arrested. So this is CNN. Let's see what CNN has to say about this. So uh, (laughs) members of a production team from the late show with Colbert were arrested earlier this week by police as they filmed a com. Oh, of course they were filming a comedy segment. Then why were they arrested Uh, in an incident that 
was used by prominent right wing voices to assail the probe into the J6 insurrection. U.S. Capitol Police said in a Friday statement that approximately at 830 p.m. Uh, on Thursday, officers observed seven individuals unescorted and without congressional ID in a six floor hallway. <laughs> Uh, in the Longworth House office building on Capitol Hill in Washington. The building was closed to visitors, and these individuals were determined to be part of a group that had been directed by the USCP to leave the building earlier in the day. Well, they hadn't left. Uh, Capitol Police said the individuals were charged with unlawful en- entry, adding that the matter is considered an active criminal investigation, and it may result in additional criminal charges after consult- uh, consultation with the U.S. attorney. CBS said in a statement that its crew was on site at the Capitol on Wednesday and Thursday. It was filming a segment for Triumph the Insult Company. Well, man, they're still doing this. Damn, that's old as fuck. Yeah, and these people, these people were working for Stephen Colbert? Yes, yeah. A puppet uh, voiced by the comedian Robert Smigel. Everybody knows Robert Smigel. CBS said that in a production team's interviews, the members of Congress had been authorized and prearranged, but it sounds like they just stayed later. And what I read in a few other articles is that they were actually seen like snooping around like Marjorie Taylor Greene's office. Mm. That's where they were. They're trying to like. How much you want to bet they don't get charged with anything or they'll oh, get like yeah. trespassing? Yeah. Yeah, they, they stayed to film, supposedly stayed to film stand-ups and other final comedy elements in the halls uh, when they were detained by Capitol Police. Yeah, give them the same amount of treatment, mm-hmm. the same treatment that you gave everybody on January 6th. Just lock them up and I'm ignore them I'm actually surprised that Robert Smeagol was still, like, allowed. Like, have they never seen his cartoons? Mm-hmm. Like, did they just not see them yet to cancel him? That he I could think, still have uh, work? Adam Schiff is actually who let them in. Of course um, he was. California Democrat member of the J6 committee participated in an interview with the Colbert crew Thursday around 10 a.m. An aide to his office told CNN. Interesting. Yeah. He implicated the Capitol breach. Later in the evening, Tucker, who repeatedly mocked the assertion that an insurrection took place on the 6th, promoted conspiracy theories about the events of the day, asserted that the crew had committed insurrection. Yeah, you can definitely say that they committed insurrection. Yep. Wow, interesting. I wonder what's going to happen. I Nothing, actually probably. know, not that I know them personally, but um, one of the names was familiar. I'm like, I know a guy who knows a guy. I'm like, oh, wow. Do you think Colbert's going to stand up for them? Be like, hey. Um, but then he'd have to backtrack on a lot of stuff he said. They don't ever do that. And no one even yeah. questions them. Here is all who was arrested from the Colbert st- staff. Uh, Robert Smigel. Whoops. Uh, Nicoletta Green, Brendan Hurley, Josh Comers, David Feldman. I know David. Jake Plunkett, Allison Martinez, Tyrone. What is that? Tyrone Dean. Stephen uh, Roman. Stephen Roman. Why does Jake Plunkett sound familiar? Jake Plunkett. Not Shake. Jake. No, but Jake Plunkett. Why, why does it sound familiar? Because he is one of the. Uh, I mean, he's probably. Well, they've won uh, Emmys, I think, for their writing on the show. So. Hmm. Maybe that's where you heard his name mentioned before. So very interesting. I mean, yeah, I I bet everything's going to be dropped for them because they're part of leftist media. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they will probably never bring it up again. (laughs) Just forget about it. Yeah. Yeah, they were cleared into the complex by Jake Auschenklaus and Adam Schiff. A uh, House January 6th committee member. Interesting. What were they? Why did they have to be there? Why does they, Adam uh, Schiff have to be there? The group reportedly banged on several doors of Republican offices, including that of Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy of California, Jim Jordan of Ohio, and Lauren Boebert of Colorado, as they allegedly filmed a skit for The Late Show that was mm-hmm. to center around the J6 hearings. Yeah, why can't you, like... I don't know, rent out well, a they set. They said that they were supposed to do comedy with, like, or they did with Ted Cruz and stuff, too. Like, they were supposed to do it with all all of them, not just, like, you know, people from the left, supposedly. I don't know wow. if it was before or this time, but, like, Ted Cruz was supposed to be in it, and, like, uh, I forget who else they said from the right. Maybe it was Kevin McCarthy, which he's a douche, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, I guess it wasn't cleared with enough people or else they wouldn't have been arrested yeah i think it's like what did i see it on maybe i was watching like tim pool or something and someone was used to work in that building 
and they said like a security has to and i guess the cops said or the security said no but then they were let in anyway and that's why because that's like against their protocol or something so they like yeah. got in trouble because they didn't like go through security the right way <laughs> wow see but probably uh nancy pelosi would be like oh they were just participating in democracy which is what she said about mm -hmm. the fucking bullshit wears. yeah let's see <laughs> do, 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 do. yes gavin don't worry guys gavin mcginnis will be joining us uh 10 ish i would say he's probably not going to be here right at 10 because he's getting back from a thing which uh he can tell you guys all about Let's make sure. Yeah, he's a dad. Chill. You got dad. And he's the dad. Do. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's dadding. dadding. You have he's to wait dadding. till he's done dadding. Um, tits out for Father's Day. What if John is leaving comedy to start a career in porn? And his hmm. first video is him giving your dad a Hummer. Oh, you no. regret that dabbler comment. Oh man, he's dabbling in porn now. They might make money off that. Hmm. Oh my God, Pat <laughs> Maloney, Olivia, favorite takedown. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna split this up. Favorite shot, because that's the most common type of takedown. Favorite shot would be a high crush to a double. Favorite takedown overall. I'm a big fan of the arm spin. Big fan of the lateral drop. I'm a big judo person, so I incorporate a lot of throws into my wrestling. I hope that was a good answer. You uh, wrestle? That's right. You do wrestle. That's really yes, cool. Yes, I yeah. want to do a lateral drop. <laughs> you want to do a lateral drop? I want to learn any move. Yeah. Hold on, here it is. <laughs> a lot of you, you, on a, Chrissy, you have good hips. Like you look <gasps> like you have supple, burly hips. I do. And I have too throw, many. Like hip tosses, lat drops, things like that. I could totally see you doing it. Like, yes. I need to learn moves. As special is like a wrestling video of me and Chrissy just going at it. I would, would definitely want to see that. <laughs> I would want to see both of you wrestle. That would be that would be great. Yes, do we really need to hear them talk? He has weird ears or a head. All right, yeah, you can. All right, Olivia, let's see. Do you agree with what they're doing right now? Let's he see. He looks like he's from like Montana or something. <laughs> they're in like durable position. Okay, you're burrowing. Durable. Now they're kissing. This immediately <laughs> looks gay. We got to open <laughs> You get to the over under tie, so that's one arm over theirs, and their arm is under um over your other arm. Wait, is this better? No, maybe this is better. <laughs> I should know. <laughs> Did you do wrestling in high school? Olivia? This is basically a yeah. lot of hugging. They're high dancing, school, right? yeah, they're dancing like in a middle school. There was one girl I knew on the guys' wrestling team in my high school, and she was a bully and she was really mean. I was on the guys' team, but I was nice. I think you are a nice person. <laughs> you seem like a nice it made person. Really tough though. It made me like really have um, thick skin, you know. Yeah. Guys are, guys are really mean sometimes. But I've seen it's like so cool. Like you can like do all kinds of like like I'm super unathletic completely. So when I see girls like being able to like punch punching bags and kick super high, I'm like, whoa, that girl's a badass. I want to be just like her. You can but get there. You just have to practice. You can totally do yeah. it though. Self, I mean, self defense is so important, especially mm -hmm. yeah. to learn. So just uh, just try it. I did kickboxing for a long time in college, but it was never with a person. It was always with like, you know, I've right. never like taken on someone. I'm like, I have like the worst. I'm like such a unathletic hand-eye coordination is like not my thing. I'm like strictly like skateboarding and that's. You yeah. can get there. You just have to <laughs> practice. Like same thing. Like I, anything that's that you get good at just takes a lot of practice. Like when I, you know. I mean, I just was, I was in sports as a kid always, but you know, I, I didn't start out good. I just. You know, but you practice like every day for three hours for like many, many years. You eventually get good at it, like anything else. <laughs> so see this I'm like at all. I played like fifteen different sports. I played like every sport known to mankind. I was average at pretty much um, most of them, except for every self defense thing I tried. I was automatically just in love with it. Wanted to you know compete right away and stuff like that. And then I was a thrower in high school. I threw the shot put in the discus, and I was good at that too. A thrower, Once not a shower. What was your least favorite sport to play? Um, probably basketball, just because it was a lot of pressure for my dad because we're kind of like a basketball family. Make all the jokes you want. Make all the I don't really care. Um, yeah, obviously, duh, -ha, we're the black family is the, black, the basketball family. Anyways, there was a lot of pressure. For me. <laughs> well, I was super tall as a kid. I'm like five six, seven maybe, but I hit my growth spurt super early, so I've been five seven since I was like thirteen. And at the time, 
I was tall, so my parents always pushed me to basketball, and I just did not like it. So it was a lot of pressure on me. And I actually joined the wrestling team, which is a winter sport uh, for those who don't know, like basketball, despite yeah. my dad, because he said I had to play a sport every <laughs> season. So fall was my volleyball season, basketball was, or whenever was my basketball season. And I was like, fuck this shit, I'm joining the wrestling team. Um, so yeah. Nice. Were there are a lot of hot guys on the wrestling team, or any hot guys? Um, that would be my number one concern. There wasn't on ours. I, at school. I mean, like not at my school. I feel like all the cute guys we'd see at like the national tournaments, like the really high level wrestlers. There was like some hotties there. Ooh, have you ever wrestled against somebody you were like attracted to? Mm, not that I. I know. What, I know what my move would be. <laughs> no, honestly, like when you're wrestling, I, I, people always ask me this because I wrestled against all boys in high school. They're like, "Oh, was it ever uncomfortable? Did a guy ever like?" try to flirt with you or like get a boner or like some weird shit. Yeah. While we're <laughs> and I'll just say this. I don't think any guys ever took it easy on me or try to flirt with me or be romantic with me while we're live, like on the mat in front of their school, in front of their parents and shit. Like nobody's yeah. trying to lose a fucking girl in front of their entire <gasps> friend. Group. So right. Like, easy on me. Like people really try to fuck me up. Like it yeah. wasn't like, I, don't like, know. I can't lose to a girl. I was I was a good high school wrestler. Like I was decent. I ended up having a win streak against guys, and then I ended up like going to the Olympic development team for women's wrestling after that. Oh, but cool. um, yeah, people always ask me like, "Oh, well, you were good at wrestling boys. Did they all take it easy on you?" And like, I wasn't like the best boys wrestler because that's impossible. I'm a woman. I was decent, but they just try to kick my ass all the time. And a lot of guys would refuse to shake my hand after the match, or they would like take off their headgear and like throw it on the ground. <laughs> so, like that would happen. <gasps> yeah. I guess a lot of girls probably didn't want to wrestle. Was there a girls wrestling team in any buddy school? Or is that not like mine. not a thing? No, not we just mine. had a it's sanctioned in certain States. So usually the bigger States like Texas, California, New York, they have women's wrestling in schools. Mm -hmm. um but it's they're like not mine process in other states not mine we didn't have a girls team which is why we had that one girl when, in the boys uh, team. when were you in high school because some of them are within the last couple of years 2010 to 2014 um, yeah mm -hmm. uh, wow you're actually older than i thought you were i thought we were like closer in age but um how old are you no because because we're not don't ask a lady her age. No, I'm just fucking around. No, well, that's no, because I know Olivia was younger than me because she watched my videos when she was in high school. So, I got guys high school in 2019, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm a baby. Um, mm -hmm. guys, I feel like it's only right on this Father's Day that we need to add uh, some daddy energy to the stream. So please welcome to the show uh, one of my favorite internet daddies, uh, Mr. Gavin McGinnis. Welcome, oh welcome. My gosh. How was your day? Happy Father's Day. How are you? White power. Hi. <laughs> yes, of course. White dad power. Sure. What's Eight, new? Four, How was your day? 14 words. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever all the things are. Yeah. Dude, I was at this thing uh, on a Saturday night, and there was this dude with a swastika pin. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? And what was the thing you were at? It was just a bar, but we were going okay. to the Proud Boys thing afterwards. And he's like, dude, the swastika was originally with Indians. It was about peace and prosperity. And it was originally like a sign of peace. And I'm like, okay, okay. I don't know if you know what's been going on, but it's gone now. So say bye-bye. Bye there, are, there are a lot of people who want to die on that. Like, oh, everyone, yeah. many cultures use the swastika yeah. that hill. And I'm like, was oh, he not God. around during World War II? Did he not see what happened? Yeah, like you, there's arguments for like all the Viking shit. I understand when it's like the thing that goes like juke, 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 that that thing. Okay, maybe, but the swastika, let's <laughs> let's give it up. Okay, it's time to go. Sorry. Yeah, okay. let's retire that already. It's like the Roman salute. It's like let's not do that and like yeah. actually we used to do roman uh, americans used to do roman salute to the uh pledge of allegiance until hitler did it yeah exactly <laughs> what's uh, the no, roman I'm salute is it uh, what i'm thinking it is what you're thinking that's what they go Heil? yeah mm -hmm. oh. actually the roman salute is actually a pagan <laughs> ritual that actually <laughs> means that, that you hail the sun and you're recognizing the power yeah 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 okay okay I don't want to hear it. I'm sure you have a great argument for the fucking Zeke Heil. Um, 
But yeah, we, um, we, just, we yeah. were just upstate visiting Proud Boys in prison, which was a wonderful experience. Um, Can we, you say what prison in case like anyone wants to send them a, of course, like a card so there, or there's iTunes? There's two prisons. There's Governor, which is spelled French, Gouverneur. Gouverneur. That's how far north it is. It's so far north that there's stands selling cheese curds. That's oh, wow. Canada. Almost and Wisconsin. I bought, I bought a bunch, by the way. They squeak. When you kill them. <laughs> um, it's Governor and Bear Hill. So we went okay. to both of those. You know what's funny? As we were leaving Bear Hill, Max Hare said to me, uh, he's like, dude, if I can tell you one thing before you leave here, don't use a bottle in a fight. He's like, but aren't don't they not have bottles around them? They, no, but he's like in general. He's like, okay, you're looking at five years. Whoa! Don't ever use a bottle in a fight. It'll break. It's it's like a deadly weapon. All kinds of shit. That's don't great advice. It. Yeah. <laughs> but it was wow. fun talking to those guys. It was good seeing them on Father's Day. Um, Are any of them dads? Yeah, one of them. One of them is a fucking. He's got a black wife and three black kids, and one of them is three years old. He's never seen her. Oh he's no. He's never seen his three year old baby because he's a racist. He's never seen his black daughter because he's a racist. And these guys are in prison not for the sixth, but for some, I guess, something that happened what like three years ago. Yeah, after a talk of mine, they got ambushed by Antifa, and Antifa said, "You want to fight?" And they were like. Yes, we would love to fight. And they beat them up. And then the cops said, do you want to press charges? And they said, fuck no. Fuck you, pig. So they <laughs> never they never met a jury of their peers. Wow. And do they're doing think- four years. They're down in their last nine months. I look okay. terrible, by the way, in this. I, I've been drinking- You're a little backlit, but you know what? You're We're getting your overall essence. Hold on. <laughs> I, I want to ask Gavin a question since it's I haven't vintage. talked to him in a while. Gavin, Gavin, Gavin. Hey, Gavin. Uh, really quick question. There's a bunch of stuff coming out about the Proud Boys saying they're somehow having this alleged plan and, and they're going to take over the Capitol and, and defy the government and whatnot. And I, I, I've i met some of the Proud Boys, as you know. Uh, I just feel like they're just uh, – most of them are too drunk to try to take over the government, to be honest. What's, what's, your, what's your take on everyone in uh, the media saying the – the Proud Boys had this grand plan to somehow take down the Capitol and take over the government. And they're all lies. Well, that yeah, that's, what, well, that's what I'm saying. Either. Like, you can see what you want about the Proud Boys. Like, some of them are a little dumb. Some, you know, some of them are a little bad apples. But I'm going to tell you this right now every single Proud Boy is pretty much drunk 24 7. They're too drunk to take over the freaking government. It's just impossible. Is, when we drove to visit, <laughs> visit Mac and John in prison, this was full. Whoa! <laughs> Who drove? Days. I've only had positive experiences with Proud Boys, yes. so me too. For me, the ones I've met have not been drunk. They've been basically like, basically like grown up Boy Scouts, and they were like, exactly. "Oh, this is this yeah. is how, these are the knots I know. These are this is my Swiss <laughs> Army knife." And like, all right, stay out of trouble. You know, go, go home before it's dark. One time, I got yeah. caught on the wrong side of a police line between Proud Boys and Antifa, and a bunch of them like came and helped me and escorted me out i was doing press at the time and it was really scary and they helped me so yeah i even though i'm technically more of a lefty now whenever people attack gavin i tell people gavin was one of the few right wingers i guess to really defend me when i came out as bisexual and didn't you know attack me for that and defended me when i was my most down so people to say men love and women are bisexual why would anyone attack you for that because my my boss at the time for XCOM media he yelled when i was on gavin's show and gavin and i talked about me being bisexual my boss called me screaming at me over the phone and gavin comforted me and was basically you know it's okay it's it's all good like gavin's one of the few people who defended me for my my entire career so for people to come after gavin the way they are like I'll, i'll even when I disagree with Gavin, I'll always defend him because Gavin defended me. So just some of the stuff that people are saying about him like, pisses me off. Well, mm, don't say it like that. <laughs> but, yeah. Not daddy. yeah, he's he's Gavin's stood up for me when I was my most down. So for people to go after him, I'll defend him for sure. And I never and, got any pussy for any of that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Gavin, so you are man. a married man. <laughs> Gavin's got a show. More. It makes it more valuable. That if I right. defend a, a pretty girl, 
and don't get any pussy for it, it's like more honorable <laughs> than like, like if I just added like a fat dude. Yeah, true. Yeah. Gavin has a show coming up next Saturday in Orlando with the Anthony Cumia and Josh Denny. Uh, is this going to be the first live censored TV event that you guys have done? This will be the first time I've done stand-up comedy since the last time everyone went to jail. Like, oh, man. We went to visit John and Max in prison. They were be beating up Antifa outside of the, my last talk on October Damn. 3rd, whatever it was, three years ago. Where, where was it? Where was your last talk? Uh, the Metropolitan Club in Manhattan. You know what's sure. funny about Anthony? Dude, that was the hardest court I've ever courted. Like, I met him when we did Red Eye probably seven years ago, and I fell madly in love. Stars <laughs> in my eyes. My hmm. heart was pounding through my chest like Pippi Le Pew. <laughs> and I just started courting him like crazy, setting <laughs> up like beers and shit. And let's do this and that. And maybe like three days ago, he goes, hey, man, I'm really looking forward to doing this show with you. And I was like, <laughs> finally got him there's something about anthony you're like you really want him to like you and like you really want him to respect you like i yes. i felt like i was just like if he i was like i don't want to come off like i'm trying too hard i don't want to be up his ass he's a famous guy <laughs> everybody he's probably got tons of people up his ass like and i felt like it took time I'm like okay let me just try to be genuinely funny in his presence and hopefully one day he'll like me he's I'm so not he's so nice I'm though embarrassed. Anthony's he one says, of the nicest he people. Says one of your texts, he's like, ha ha. And you see the ha ha, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I'm laminating this text. That was an incredibly funny text I sent. <laughs> he's so funny. And he, he man, the, the way he's able to, I don't know when the last time you saw Anthony perform was, but his stand up has gotten really amazing. And he's, he's always had the skill set. He's, he's naturally always been funny on oh, radio. God. He's a freaking legend. And, uh, he just connected a few things and he's incredible on stage. He just like kind of figured it out in the last year. Yeah. Stand up comedy is overrated. You just got to be funny. Look at this guy. <laughs> yeah. Just, just be funny. Jesus. Be funny. Valverde. <laughs> All the Aww. drug dealers worship this guy because he would rob from the rich and give to the poor. Like Robin Hood. I bought this in the Bronx recently and uh, like El Chapo has this at his house. He's like a famous drug dealing saint. He's a saint to drug dealers. And I <laughs> I got to say, I started betting $100 on the Mets. I'm up to $1,240. What? On the Mets? Yeah. The worst team in the world. Damn. I need to get a statue. Guy. I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> I need one Gavin just likes the Mets. Does the head <laughs> twist off? Is there anything inside of it? <laughs> don't break him. You'll lose all your luck. No, nothing. Uh, but, but when I show this to a Puerto Rican friend of mine, he's like, dude, Jesus Mel Melverde, if you have that in your house, you live in a really bad neighborhood. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised you didn't want to bet on the Yankees. They've been crushing it. He hates the Yankees. I want the Yankees to die in a plane crash. <laughs> oh, really? Why? I want all their fans to die with them. So Ryan, Ryan. Fair. Ryan's a huge Yankees fan, and Gavin basically tells him anytime he sees him with a Yankee hat, I want you to die, Ryan. I want you, you think, to die. You think the Yankees have had it too good for too long? Me. That would be like wearing a fucking – actually, I could have the same argument with the swastika. Actually, the Yankees <laughs> used to be a Nordic symbol that used to mean joy and love. <laughs> Look at this. I got yeah, this at the yeah. boxing gym. It's this box where you can uh, – you can watch anything in the world. Whoa, it's like a computer. <laughs> yeah, it's like a hacked fire stick, apparently. I can watch like... But that's not what we're here for. Oops. I can watch... <laughs> that guy. I can watch You're watching making... exactly what I thought you'd be watching. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, comes up. There's a guy who looks like a proud boy. I can watch Jamaican local news. Ooh. Why? I am <laughs> Well, I... Why? Why not? Oh, it's cool. You can see what's uh, going Jamaica. on in Jamaica. Jamaica what's local going on in Jamaica? Always about fertility. It's like, welcome back. Today, you know, we are going, uh, we got Babylon closing in on us, you know, and we're going to talk about the dangers of various fruits when you're pregnant, you know. 
<laughs> it sounds more like it's joyful. Really it sounds it's like a better good. news experience. Oh, I'm freaking shake from Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> I watch it for hours. You want the job done or not? <laughs> Don't be fucking any white boys on vacation. <laughs> Don't <laughs> around or you'll get abused. Scene. Oh my god! I got you guys close it up, you know. Olivia's just here taking. <laughs> You guys sound like Chet Hanks, like White Boy Summer. Ah! <laughs> happy Pride, happy Pride. One time hey, I went Jamaica to I was, news. I was staying in Jamaica, and my friend who lives down there, he's a white dude. He went there because he was going through some mental health problems, and he was like, "I need to recalibrate myself." And he never left. So we're we're at this house, and I'm drinking Bud, and he goes, uh, "Where the fuck did you get Bud?" And I'm like, what do you mean? It's the cheapest beer. I love cheap beer. And he goes, uh, not here. That's fucking exotic. And I go, <laughs> we're renting the house from. I go, hey, Clinton, what's going on with this? And he goes, don't worry about it, Mr. Gavin. We got we got your handle. I go to the International Trade Center and I get you your Budweiser. From imported. And I'm like, what the fuck? No! <laughs> they were $12 each. Woof, uh, switch to red stripe please yeah red stripe how much is a red stripe there like three bucks? three bucks it's nothing yeah that's weird like bed lights like a delicacy in other places mm-hmm. yeah in the Britain what? in london england if you're at a pub or at a, a club and you have a bud it's like fancy huh Oh, wait, so that's try. Anthony's. That's Anthony's go-to as well. Bud is disgusting. I can't. My wife is coming life. on. She's super horny and wants to be with me. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's hard living with American Indians. Their libido is insatiable. Ooh! She wants to give is- you your Father's Day present. Hello, Hi. Hi, Mrs. Gavin. All they think about is intercourse, Mrs. and Gavin. I'm like, I love- <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Her, Gavin, so for a chance. How was your father's day? I was in prison. Oh, right. I was in but, prison. But you, not you personally. Yet. Voluntarily going to prison, that's a that's commendable to visit others. And that's part of the joy of going up there is feeling good about yourself for a few days. You're like, I'm not in prison. <laughs> I drove to prison and I visited people who were incarcerated. What have you done? <laughs> what is like a rare exciting thing to get when you're in prison and could you get could you give them anything yeah you give them well actually they just changed the rules like this month it has to be from a internet provider it has to come from amazon basically but up until like two months ago as long as it was self-contained so avocados are fine last time i brought like 30 avocados but oh, wow. um i bring cartons of cigarettes they're, see, the, their parents visit them all the time, so the parents do all the normal stuff. And you can just go on Amazon. You can select, like, the prison. You put in their RN number. No way. Send them whatever the fuck pops in your head. Can we send some – can people in the chat maybe send some stuff to whoever? Yeah. Like, like, is it possible to what get their, type in their numbers? Prison, or... Wait a second. Prison snacks? Prison-approved snacks. Oh, prison. my God. What? So anything that's on Amazon, you can buy them. They don't Look want at you sneaking in shit now. Look at all these prison-approved snacks. Yeah. Can you see that's my crazy as fuck? What? Ring pops? Is that a ring pop? Heck, Heck yeah. yeah. Island. Oh, that's that's a ring, ring pops. pops. The There's a lot of stretch. Island. <laughs> island. <laughs> There's stretch <laughs> island happening in prison. Those Uh-oh. are delicious, actually. Yeah. Fruit are- Gavin, <laughs> how yeah. is there a place? We can find all the numbers and places to send things just for people. Or? So that's oh. their RN numbers, right? Is that mascara? Screenshot that guy. Screenshot that. Oh, you wait, show it? it again. Okay, cool. And so John is at um where is John? But John's one of them is at Bear Hill, the other's a governor. But it's governor is spelled like um Gouverneur. Uh, because it's in northern Canada. I mean, northern upstate. So what exactly? So these these guys specifically are in, in prison because they defend themselves from Antifa? Or what exactly happened? What's the full after rundown? My talk, after my talk three years ago, and I got a, a call from a dude named Michael Dar, who I'd kicked out of the Proud Boys for being a Nazi, even though okay. he was Jewish. 
but he was saying too much Holocaust and all shit. And I was like, sorry, you got to go. Um, but he, we still kept in contact because he went to Charlottesville. I said, if you go to Charlottesville, you're out. And he went to Charlottesville and he was like, dude, you were right. It is a fucking Nazi fest. And I'm like, but he was kind of a smart guy. And he said, he said, look, there's jobs, not mobs trending right now. We're right before the midterms. They want the Proud Boys to be violent tonight. They need it to be violent tonight. So here's what you got to do. You got to bring pillows. Every Proud Boy needs to bring a pillow. And when there's a fight, they attack them with pillows. And the fucking, the AP shots will be pillows of like, in slow oh my mode, God. Right? <laughs> And I'm like, sounds good to me. You're right. He was right. So they brought pillows and they kind of, but Proud Boys are doing coke. They're fucking doing <laughs> shots. They're wasted I told the you time. they're dumb and they're drunk. It's just they're like dumb to and party. Drunk. I'm sorry, but like they're always, no one really realizes how much fucking cocaine this club does. I think but, they realize. <laughs> well, they probably get a lot done. It's like at West. What's Bank? the point though? Cocaine, like I don't know. I've never done cocaine, but everyone I see who does cocaine is miserable two hours later. I don't understand why they well, we do don't it. see them two hours later. We see them when they're they've just done a line. So anyway, <laughs> they're high on coke and they leave the pillows at my talk, like on the ground. Mm -hmm. And the, the cop said we got rid of Antifa. They're done. So everyone goes home, and uh, um, Antifa didn't go home. They went around the block. So they go around the block and they hurl a bottle of piss at the Proud Boys, and they go, "You want to fight?" Yeah. And Proud Boys go, yes, we'd love to fight. Thank An you. An open bottle of piss or was it shut? No, it's a, it was a glass Chirac, the Puff Daddy vodka, mm -hmm. which is a whole other story. Like, why do you have the most expensive possible container mm. of piss imaginable? I think that whoever was funding this. George. Oh, bought like yeah, we all know. <laughs> it was like. Oh, the the party girls love Chirac. It yeah. was like it was like this. Like like this size of Ciroc, and there was hundreds of them. Huh. Interesting. Pit. So I think they poured them all out and pissed in them. But anyway, um they must have really small dicks to pee in those little <laughs> bottles like that. Like holy shit, those are I know those are airplane bottles, right? Like those are pretty mm -hmm. small to be yeah. aiming into. So they managed yeah. to fit their tiny penises into those and they threw them at <laughs> the boys and they, they beat them up for 17 seconds. And they never faced their accuser. You know, the, the guys didn't press the charges. It, it, to their to their uh, benefit, that Antifa didn't press charges. The De Blasio pressed charges. Mm -hmm. So these guys are sitting rotting in prison for four fucking years. That's so wrong. Like, like Max is ripped. He yeah. Do you need pictures? And you know what's funny? They're both the president of their block. Like they do the, they argue with the CEOs to get vegetables on the commissary and stuff. Because I realized when I was talking about today, the average IQ in there is like 70. And they're, you know, 105 or whatever is normal. So they don't have anyone to talk to. Oh, so man. they end up running their mm -hmm. little area and they're like, we need vegetables here and we need to have, this should be cleaned and you fucked up on Thursday. And they end up sort of dominating their, their area. Because people in They're jail like are managers. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but Max comes out. Max comes out. I know I know Max is this. This is my friend Max. Mm -hmm. And then I go to visit him. He's like, dude, what's Ooh. up? What's going on? And I, <laughs> I, I hug him and like his the rift in his back, it feels Ooh. like a shot or something. Like he's red. <laughs> Wait, which prison is I'm gonna go give him a hug. <laughs> and then what else are you gonna do in there yeah, though? Just the prison. I, I think he dips in bananas or something. It tastes. I'll bring so some soap to drop. <laughs> Interesting. So okay, I, mean, I hope it was Father's Day at the prison, and I've never seen it less busy than. Oh no! Today. You think no. that would be the day they'd really come Nobody out? There. No, not a lot of dads said Governor and Bear Hill. Oh no. Cesario John uh, JPN says, Kevin McGinnis, a Vice fame? Oh, how I miss Vice's yearly trips to North Korea. Now they can't even travel <laughs> to the local Hot Topic or Spencer's. 
Yeah, I think when those guys were going to North Korea, that was after my time, but I heard they were just fucking prostitutes the whole time. And the the cameramen were hiding their wallets, uh, hoping they would be robbed by prostitutes. What else would so you do there? Investigative <laughs> journalism. Yeah. From YouTube user Gavin, I'll give donate twenty dollars to the charity of your choice if you have a celebrity boxing match with Sam Hyde. I would <laughs> happily fight Sam Hyde. He would just knock me out. Like it would be one round. I don't <laughs> mind getting knocked out, but it would not be a very exciting match to watch. Sam okay. is a monster. He's like six two in great shape. I'm a geriatric alcoholic. <laughs> it would be a short fight. Oh. But I'm happy. I, I box every week. I be I get beat up by Ooh. people much better than Sam Hyde every day, every Ooh. week. <laughs> Tits out for father's day trick. I had a big drama at my gym. You I, did? I quit my gym. <gasps> Whoa! Dude. Tell us. Did they was, did they let you go easily? Dude, it was crazy. What so gym was it? Or story. if you don't want so, to say it, it's okay. I won't say the gym, but okay. my buddy just got inducted into the Hall of Fame. Larry Barnes. So we had a big day there. We went to, we had a big dinner and everything. We had tables and he was wearing a tuxedo. It was a big deal. His sons, I don't know, they, I guess they never drank alcohol before, but on the way back, one of his sons, they've been drinking Hennessy, like uh, Trills. Oh, they're black. His son turns into the exorcist, like, <laughs> he starts destroying my car. Oh, no. Now, oh, I just no. bought my dream car. It's a 2000 Jaguar XJR. Oh. I've wanted this my whole life. I finally got it. I made a life crisis. He starts like wrecking it. Oh, no. He breaks the third brake light. <laughs> so I was like, dude, fucking Larry's son just broke my third brake light. And it's hard. It's a hard piece to find. It's going to be like 600 bucks to replace. And he's like, don't worry about it. Just get send me the bill. I'm like, okay. So I sent him the bill. And he's like, are you fucking serious? You're fucking rich. You make four times what I make. And you're fucking, you're giving me this. And then we have this like heated, heavy discussion where I'm standing like this and we're like nose to nose. And he's like, <gasps> fucking do this to me, you fucking bitch. And so I pack up like my kids box there. And I have to pack up the little tiny gloves for like Aww. my kids. And I'm like, this is not pleasant. And we have this screaming fight where he threatens to kill me. And I'm like, I'm fucking out of here. Fuck you. And now I go to a gym that's like Costco in a zombie movie. Oh, I'm no. The only person there at 9 a.m. Just like, punk, punk, empty. Punk, punk, empty, alone, sad. <laughs> no free samples. I didn't want to play, pay for the third brake light. It's amazing how you have like a weird thing where you have beef with someone and like say it's a cafe or whatever, like in friends, you know, that cafe they went to, mm -hmm. if they get in a fight with the Central owner of that perk. Cafe, Central perk. That's whole culture is wiped from their lives. That's and the now, only spot. Yeah. We'll never see these people ever again. Like we're done. It's just should have been more careful. <laughs> Although that per <laughs> although he knocked out your light, the right thing to do would have been to pay for it. Yeah, What's wrong yeah. with this kid? Like, like you what, broke why it. was this kid doing that? How old was he? You've never seen anything like this. He turned into an animal. Like, like Tasmanian he, devil. That's what like, I thought. He was cutting his brother and pulling his brother's <laughs> shirt. And he's like, We're oh famous. God. We're famous. We have to deal with that. We're famous now. <laughs> How old is this kid? Not young, like 30. That's not a kid, yeah. Gavin. No, that's well, a grown man. Off the brown liquor. Everyone below <laughs> fifty-one is is a, a kid. Was he was he on drugs? Like what happened here? He was on Hennessy. Was he, he like <laughs> on Hennessy? I would probably was he get like that on Hennessy. Like, what the heck? Uh -uh. Olivia, do you have experience with Hennessy? I've never had it. Did you ask me that because I'm black? Chrissy. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I used to drink it. I actually, I actually kind of avoid it. I've, I think I've drank it like twice, but it's I just nasty, don't, I don't like the taste of it. I don't like the taste. Yeah. We only did it when we were desperate, and that's like all we could get off of like my friend's parents because they were black. 
but like that's what they <laughs> drank. So we would just steal it. We would try to pour water in it. I would drink so on teeth of all days. Let's just give me a free day. Next week, y'all could be racist again. <laughs> okay. All right. Right. Now Wait, so what, you know, what's, what's special about Hennessy? I've here, never had Hennessy. What's I'm special about my, it? I'm here in my own bar. I call it Gav's Tav. Gav's Tav. And uh, so cute. We got yeah, booze the here. Bar. All right, all right, all right. Booze yeah, here. here. Mm -hmm. and my wife is also the devil. My wife was like, "We got to take this down now that we have teenagers because they're going to get wasted." <laughs> and I, I was, I denied it at first, but I'm like, "She's right. We have to. I guess at night I have to take these down and I don't know, put them in like a trunk." That's annoying. Oh. Cause you get a glass. That's a, but when I was a teenager, I didn't want to drink that stuff. But I just was I drinking did. like, oh, I wanted to have just Midori sa sour after Midori sour. Cause that's like I would go to the bar with a, my it's fake sour. ID and I would just order drinks. I heard other people order because I knew that that was a legitimate drink. So I would just like it would be like you know knowing your lines for a play it'd be like you go up to the bar you say dory sour and you get alcohol it, it's the mccarthy's peter and paul mccarthy and their dad had like an alcohol like tester so he'd put it in the alcohol and he could tell if you diluted the alcohol That's with water so smart. oh i'd like, be fucked if they had that in my house of, of isn't that a ferris bueller mm -hmm. like how like cameron's dad has one of those does Make he really? Sure camera doesn't drink. Yeah, it was like, I, I, think I guess I gotta buy one, right? I gotta mm -hmm. buy one. I have teenagers. This is it. Yeah, there. they'll probably be. They'll try to be smart like that. Time has arrived. Oh, man. Do you know what they like to drink yet? Anything. They're thirteen and fifteen. Oh, I don't think they have young. drinks. No, that's too young to drink. And nine. Okay, that's too young. I made my thirteen-year-old drink a beer the other day, though. The whole thing. Yeah. He didn't like it. No, oh, I didn't either That's when I good. was kid. This is nasty. No kid likes beer because it's not for kids. I sat him down and I was mm -hmm. like, look, you're getting interested in girls now. You're a young man. If you're courting girls. Drink you this to, beer. <laughs> need a spare and a pair. So you are working on two main chicks like Betty and Veronica. And then you also have a spare on the side if the pair is not working out and you need just to settle. So focus on the pair, but the spare is on the side. And I might as well have been wow. telling the jumbo jet. Works. <laughs> it didn't go down well. So you think and that's good advice for all men have two main girls you're working on and then like this the side chick? Like well, I could I don't think you understand. I could get killed by the male community for telling you guys this. This is a secret that women are not allowed to know. So I am betraying my people. By telling you guys this secret. Oh no! Do yeah. all men do this, Gavin? All men have a spare and a pair. This makes. I sense wonder what now. I was all those years. <laughs> you're one of the pair, or you're a spare. And if you're a guy, and like one of the girls finds out, the guy's dead, or near death. <laughs> it all makes sense now. Honestly, it all makes sense. Gavin no, just revealed my like still, questions of the universe. I'm they settle on Betty or Veronica, whatever is working out for them. But while they're pursuing, it's like business, right? If you're running a business, you can't have one customer. you got to be That's reaching true. out to various different communities. So you have your spare. But and women your do that too. Like women will have a whole like waiting list just in our Instagram DMs. You know, yeah. like, we, we always have a sense of like who would be next in line. I guess we all do, yeah. Yeah. But men more than women. Women are very agreeable. They're genetically agreeable because yeah, it sucks. They, mm -hmm. they're designed that way. So, like, when their kid shows them a shitty drawing of a horse, they're like, well, oh, that's a great drawing of a horse. When men see a drawing of a horse that sucks, we go, that's su his four legs, first of all. Why is there three legs? <laughs> I think I should have been a dude then because I'm more like that. I'd be like, this shit sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know. I think I should have been a dude. Maybe I should trans. You kind of are like a dude. You might be trans, Leanne. I feel like I have a dude's mentality. Like I am definitely not. I oh don't God, have that mentality. Like I don't care what dudes do. I'm not nagging you. I don't want to go through your phone. And if I have that feeling, you're you're out. I don't want to deal with that shit. I just don't. 
Are you in like, a relationship? I don't care what you do. You could do whatever you want. Just don't be an asshole. I don't fucking know. Are you know. in a relationship? Uh-oh. Yeah. Not We're single. Together. Now he's going to no, do this to you. Forever. <laughs> forever. You're totally single right now. Why? Evan's going to fix your whole life. Get ready. It's much easier. You look like a fucking eight. How are you single? Yeah, she's I so hot, know. Gavin. I've I seen her in person. I don't like anyone. You're all hot. She's, I never do. I'm very shady. I have to like really vibe like with someone, which never Instagram. happens. I'm so. sorry. Wait, what? <laughs> what are you saying? I follow what? you on Instagram, Olivia. You're with some black dude with dreads who just Patriot got- Patriot like, J. Yeah. He's a lawyer or something. Yeah, he's a lawyer and he writes for Breitbart. Yeah. Ooh. So you're, you're taken care of. You're wrapped up. But <laughs> Ashton and Leanne, you both are above eight- and you're both single? I'm not single, Gavin. Oh. I know. Fashion? My boyfriend's name is Clint. What is he out of 10? Uh out of a like like looks wise or like yeah, mentally? Looks- um mentally. he's definitely not my type, like looks wise, but I never uh, seem to date my looks did like you just type say anyway. He's definitely not my type. Looks like. <laughs> I've never dated a guy who's my type looks wise in my entire life. Gavin, see those small barbells behind Ashton? Those are Clint's barbells. Those little five pounders on the ground there. Those are no, his. he's so Four he's actually weight. very he's actually very fit. He's six foot two, so he's tall and fit. The thing is, my like looks wise, like I like date like I'm attracted to Tim Burton characters. Nice black guys. So, I just said Tim Burton characters oh. are all pale and white. What do you okay. I guess I saw um, a different one. No, but but Clint, he's uh actually he wants you on his podcast. So if you want to, oh find- okay, <laughs> that's what this is about. Got well, what it. About, what about you, Leanne? Why are you single? I just don't care. I just don't like anyone ever. So I just don't She's care. Thinking. Are you on a dating? So hot, Kevin. Are you on a so dating hot. app? No, no, I always have to say that I'm not because there's someone using my pictures and like trying to scam people. They use a lot of people's pictures, like any of y'all, your pictures could be used. But I have to keep saying, like, I've never been on any of those ever, not once. I never signed up, like, I don't want to do that. It's not me. And plus, why are you giving strangers money and shit on a dating app? Like, stop. Like, why are you like, doing what? that? Stupid. Who gives who money on a dating app? There's only fans. They're getting the money. Like girls scam like, dudes on these apps, like Tinder and Bumble or whatever the fuck it's called. And like, why are you giving strangers money? Like, I Wait do a minute. not understand. How do this these stuff. girls scam guys? Like, what do you mean on Tinder and Bumble? Like, they will get anybody message the dudes and like mm-hmm. scam them out of money. That's what I mean. They have to be stupid as fuck because this happens all the time. It happens on Instagram. Like, I had like three dudes message me. Like, I was supposed to send them pictures and shit, and they bought me something on Amazon. And I was like, dude, I don't do that. Like, I would never ask you for something from Amazon for one in a DM. Like, why would I do that? Like, no, why are you giving, you don't even know if it's really a person. Like, at least tell them to Skype with you so you, like, see them moving. Like, they just send money and shit to the, these scammers. It's yeah. People get scammed it happens very well, if you're, like, if you're dumb enough girls. to fall for that, If you're dumb enough to fall for that. I'm like, dude, stop sending weird people money. Like, what you are you doing? You should OnlyFans accounts. You should all have OnlyFans accounts. Are you being sarcastic? I don't know. Oh, no, okay. I mean, I do have one, but that's what I mean. At least you got really? that. Like, but I don't even promote it. Like, I haven't even yes! promoted it in months because I haven't been posting on it. That's why I'm like, don't, I'm not posting on it. So. You know who has an OnlyFans account? Jacob Wall. Who's that? What? Yeah. Who's Jacob Wall? Like, I need he's that. For some reason. He's on my network. That. He's a friend of mine. He's a hunk. And he's like, dude, it's fucking awesome. I just like lift weights and I get like, Five thousand bucks. Yeah. Like, oh God, really? Bags. Yeah, like, it's true. It's all gay God. dudes. It's all gay dudes. You're a gay prostitute. And he's like, oh. whatever. I make tons of money. Fuck you. That's what it is. I like, take okay. a wall. What does he look like? We disagree on this. There's a lot. Okay, this like? is from this is from uh, Elsa Barrett. Hey, Gavin, started watching you. Back in the Rebel Media days when it was you, Lauren, Faith, and Tommy, have you kept in touch with any of them? Cheers from Canada. Um, I Yeah, not really, no. I, I keep in touch with Faith. Lauren uh, claims I t- tried to hit on her, so we don't speak anymore. 
Although the <laughs> newspaper, the Politico that reported that is getting sued by Lauren because she uh -oh. said they misrepresented her. And then the problem with Tommy is he's a total alpha male. So, and I'm not, by the way. I mean, I am amongst most New York hipsters, but I'm actually basically a fag. So, <laughs> Wait, is this Tommy Robinson? Yeah, like I like uh, it. I, I don't I trust him, honestly. My what? Tommy Robinson? Yeah, the guy in England? Cool. Didn't he like scam a bunch of people? Or am I wrong about it? Is that someone else I'm thinking of? He's the best person in the world. He's basically Jesus. Oh. But <laughs> um, like to text an alpha male like that, like, all right, Tommy, you're right, mate. Like he doesn't text back. Oh, I'm thinking of someone else. I'm thinking okay. of an American dude. Yeah. No, all he's right. a real deal dude. But Which like those kind of guys, they don't like if you don't. The only way you be friends with Tommy Robinson is to fly to London and hang out with him and drink a pint. He doesn't do like texts. Texting. He's a phone guy. He's like a mm -hmm. in person guy. Um, Tits out wants to know which of the two guys you visited in prison was the spare. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Good. Good, good one. Good one. Good. Good. Good, good, yeah. good job. Good, good job. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> um yeah i also want to find leanne her soulmate nah, she's a, she's good. Good catch. Yeah, me too. this is my obsession now that i'm married with kids <laughs> and you know i see like women like olivia uh pairing up and like posting pictures of the guy like it makes you happy lawyer. i'm like all right good so that's taken care of and then whenever <laughs> i meet other women i'm like all right we need to do something we need to set you up what are we gonna do like, I'm the big matchmaker guy. When Gavin first met me, he tried to match me up with, like, a random bartender. He was, like, trying to find me a husband quick. Ooh. Yeah. I'm good on that. I will say I this. I was very um, anti-relationship and very anti, like, marriage and stuff like that for myself before I got in my current relationship. I was very, very jaded. Had bad relationships. Me too. Experiences with guys. I was just, like, done kind of hopeless and stuff. So... I don't know. I think there's I think there's someone for everyone out there. I think everyone can have a happy ending. Um, I try not to make my relationship my personality, but I do post a lot of pictures because we're cute. But you guys are not helping about it. Does he live in the same city as you? No. So we met on Twitter. I am from the D.C. area. He's from L.A. I came to L.A. But so now we're in the same city for the summer, but it's very usually long distance. Huh. Unknown oh, caller. Wow. Uh-oh. It's prison. I'm calling <laughs> from prison. Oh, let's talk to them. I want to okay. send them some snacks. An incarcerated individual at San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department. This call is not private. <laughs> it will be recorded. And it's not private. No. <laughs> private call. Please hang up. And you might not want to support her. To register okay. this number, a private number. She's been accused of pedophilia. Oh, no. This is free call. Press. Thank you. Using security. I'll explain that. Okay. Hey, Mercedes. Hey, happy Father's Day. Thank you very much. I'm on a podcast with a bunch of chicks. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, say hi. You're being recorded. Hi. 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 It's Simcast. Hey. I hope you guys wish him a happy Father's Day. Gavin's an excellent father. We did. He is. He's one of my favorite daddies. <laughs> yeah, he really is. He's fantastic. Oh, yeah. I, I literally called him just to wish him a happy Father's Day. Oh. Okay, thank you. I'm going to hang up because it's okay, you can't hear you. Bye. <laughs> but yeah, Mercedes was was a big Trump supporter. She's a porn star, Mercedes Carrera, and she oh. was um, a big Trump supporter. She her, she was in a custody battle with her ex husband, who didn't really pay attention to her kid at all. But then he decided he wanted to be with the kid, so he said. My daughter's being raped. <gasps> uh, and so he, they threw the book at her and her husband, her new husband, and threw them both in jail, threw away the key. They still haven't gone to trial. It's been like two years. And she's sitting there, you know, she's never going to see her daughter ever again. Oh, and she my just, God. She's, yeah, she's in court forever in San Bernardino. Now, the crazy thing is, I talked to her. I love her. I've known her for five years. Uh, I think she's a great person. I used to have her on my show all the time. But I have to keep in my head the 1% chance she's guilty. 
It's possible. That is scary. Damn. You know? So you're like, this is my friend. This is someone I consider, like, I know her as well as, like, my niece or my cousin. But uh, part of my brain is, like, you know, what if she did molest her daughter? That would be so horrible. And that's – usually it's, like – the chick in the relationship that's being manipulative, but I guess it's possible that a man could be. Well, he wanted one. custody of the girl and he got it. He has full custody of a girl that was never part of his life. Wow. But that's- she's mega. She was pro Trump. She's very attractive. She was doing tours. She was part of the whole Gamergate thing. And the establishment. What's her name? Mercedes. Mercedes Carrera. Okay, this they were familiar. like, the one thing that the left hates is charming people on the right mm-hmm. like I, I honestly think they don't mind ben shapiro because no one wants to be <laughs> ben shapiro you know? <laughs> but if you're kind of cool and you have tattoos and you're a sexy porn star and you've like smoked a joint and you're in a band like look at how they went after the dude from um the guy who played it uh in paris at um that shooting what was that band called again? That's Mercedes. Whoa. Very pretty. Yeah. Um, free her. Remember the Unless shooting? She's actually guilty. Unless the one percent. Right. 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 Just based on her looks, I'd say free her. Yeah. <laughs> Forgive she's her. Too pretty to be to be. Uh. Yeah. Bataclan. Bataclan was the shooting, right? And what was the band that were playing that night? Um. Jesse was the guy. So um, the band was called again, Eagles of Death Metal. Okay. And it, and it was Josh whatever and that, that other dude who said, uh, he goes, I think something was up with that, that mass slaughter that night because it seemed like the security staff was in on the slaughter. Whoa. As soon as he said that sure. – He's been erased from rock and roll history. Like there's murals of Eagles of Death Metal where he's been airbrushed out of the picture. This guy. Damn. I think something was fucking fishy that night. And he's right. Something was fishy that night. And meanwhile, you're allowed to be dubious when 80 people were murdered. They like cut open pregnant women that night. Oh, God. There was fucking an inch of blood on the floor. On that night, but we don't really focus on it. So I I can't help but think that she's a political prisoner. I mean, it's been three years. She's been waiting for a trial. Um, I was just with Max and John. They're they're at their end of their fourth year for a 17 mm-hmm. second fight. Our justice system is fucking garbage. And the funny thing is, you have Kim Kardashian, you know, with the Innocence Project, which I like that concept. I like the idea of getting guys out of jail, but yeah. she seems to be choosing the only people who are guilty. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Like she digs up these guys who fucking are accused of rape and they actually did rape the fucking chick. Maybe she's know, doing she that like research. She knows like her, just her fan a base random is. name out of a hat and you're like, all right, well, we'll help him. Like, I don't, how do you not so know Morgan this? Talks about this Asian dude, this cop, who's in jail right now because he allegedly forced a woman to blow him to avoid a traffic stop. Uh, what? Yeah, he's in jail. And mm-hmm. the cops, he's Asian. The cops in that that the district are thing, it's like this plate that tucks into your fucking pants. And then there's another thing you pull up and then there's a belt. Like, even if you were madly in love with the woman and you're like, can you blow me on, on Thursday at 3 p.m.? Mm-hmm. You'd still have to be like, Hold on. Like it would take about 10 minutes to get <laughs> set up, like to get to your dick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it's, it's Damn. Not there. But the mm-hmm. Innocence Project would never go near him because he's Asian and he's a cop and it's he's right wing and fuck him. Yeah. It he's sounds like a lot of these people, him. like if you just like Trump at the wrong time or you uh, uh, do some kind of activist work at the wrong time, you are, can so easily be set up to be a political prisoner. And I think that's so much of of these January 6 people and like these these proud boys that are in jail over and then you look at people on the years. 
Yeah. They're looking at 20 years and they have children. That's the thing too. Like I saw Stephen Colbert joking about Joe Biggs and he's like, oh, this proud boy is going to be a member of AARP by the time he gets out. <laughs> and I'm laughing and I'm wow. like, hilarious. He has a fucking four year old daughter so who has been molested by her in-laws. And she's sitting there without a dad being raised by her grandparents with zero dad, zero mom, zero everything. And we're all clapping and laughing. Ha, 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 They just ha. pretend like they care about people. They don't. They don't give a fuck about people. People like so, him don't give a shit about anybody but themselves. Um, it's I, weird because it's not, it doesn't go the other way around. Like, I don't want Stephen Colbert to die. Mm -mm, I don't want. Like, no. I, I would never say that about people. That that out, they say. Yeah. Rot in prison and get raped. Like, I no. don't have this kind of animosity for them. Me either. When they yeah. talk about us. It's like, like with Ann Coulter, she was attacked uh, recently by a comedy club in the the Lower East Side. And, and no, for no, real? No. Well, what happened was they were isolating her. She was trying to get a taxi, and they were pushing her out to a place. I remember this. Her. Yeah. And she managed to get a taxi, and she escaped. But there was a mob forming, and I I said to her, I was like. If they fucking chopped your head off or jumped on your head until it was like crushed and there was a picture of that, there would be memes that yep. were like, sorry, man, wrong, bad night out on the yeah. town. Like, People are you, fucking I, savages. Funny memes written around her crushed skull. Like, I don't want to do that to Rachel Maddow. I don't want her skull crushed. We were just saying that. Yeah. Even even when we see Joe Biden falling over on his bike, like, we feel bad for him. We're like, put this guy out of the public eye. Like, yeah, relieve yeah, yeah. him of these duties. We feel bad. They are. Yeah, it's sad. It's, it is. It's, like it's interesting because the internet has almost become the modern day freak show. Back in the 1930s and 40s, people used to, like, take out their own personal pains on, like, going to freak shows and carnivals and, like, laughing at the bearded lady and, like, the guy with the weird toes and, and a lot of these people were actually mentally ill and not getting the help they needed. And instead of going to get mental help, they were being held in cages and starved on purpose because they would act crazy because they were mentally ill and starving and, and traumatized. And like they were being poked at with sticks. And the thing is a lot of people say, Oh, we've come so far since taking these kind of people out of circuses and animals out of the circuses. But we have the internet. Now we're just laugh and point at people who are going through a hard time. It's no different. Yeah. Yep. Well, Libs of TikTok is sort of like a freak show, but it's also when we look at it, we go, I get that you're a freak, but um, and I want you to get help, by the way, but I don't want you around my children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I don't want these freaks. And, and thank God for her, by the way, exposing these freaks. She's changed the law, literally changed the law in Florida, for example. Wow. But That's amazing. When you see these fucking lunatics, you go, I don't know, man. We're really in a, an, an American divorce. Mm -hmm. I don't get the left. I don't I either. Think, I, don't, really, I, don't think they, I don't think they want to be understood. I think they just are honestly, like, literally just hateful. being opted and, and, and they're hateful. I, don't they, sure I think they know they don't make sense. That drag shows for children are okay. Like, I'm honestly becoming okay with, like, a national divorce at this point. Because it's like, they want fucking communism. They want to fucking diddle kids. I don't want to do that shit. So Me go. Either. I don't want to be part of it. Here's the thing is, is Olivia, yeah, I Christy and I... Christy and I were actually talking about this last week and how what's going on with the whole drag show thing is... And even a lot of drag queens are coming on saying, why would you want to bring your kids here? Why would you want to bring your kids into a bar around strippers? We're all doing drugs. We're all drinking. We're all taking our clothes off. That's not an environment for kids. If they were in a strip club with women taking their clothes off, those yeah. parents would be in jail. So what's the difference? Yeah. Like forget the gays. Look at the way the drag queens are dressed with their lingerie and their thigh high boots. If you went to a story hour and there was a woman there a straight heterosexual woman with thigh high boots on and like a boost J you'd be like, why is there a whore here? What are we doing? What? Right. And it's different than like, okay, you it's see women at the beach in bathing hour? suits, but like lingerie is a whole different vibe. And that's yeah. essentially what they're in. Lingerie means fuck me. And they've chosen the weirdest gays alive. Like we yeah, don't that's what all my gay friends hate this. They hate the movement. They hate Pride Month. Like they're embarrassed because they're just normal business 
men and like they don't want this shit like they don't need dildos yeah. every day hanging off their clothes and like they hate it I like they hate this. it like, so much you they're like embarrassed want to make kids okay with gays okay have tom ford to come down and yeah read a fucking story yeah. Like I'm a designer. Like they don't. They only prop up the really sexualized ones. Designer. It's also embarrassing because the gay community worked their butts off to show people they're normal. Like, like a lot of gay people are sick of this because like they they spent decades getting bullied and harassed and treated like trash, only to be like, hey guys, we're like just like everyone else. We just want to get married, want to have love, and then when things finally get a little brighter for them, boom, they're like, all of these people start coming out and like showing everyone who didn't want this. At, it's there's a bunch of weirdos. The only you know way saying? to be gay and celebrate pride is to be a total overly sexualized exactly. stereotype. And that's not the only way to be gay. But a lot of gay people, the majority of gay people are pissed off by this. Because, like, we work so hard to prove we're not the freaking weirdos. And then you go and do this stuff. Like, Christina Aguilera, who's a straight woman, by the way, goes up on pride on a stage with a freaking dildo strapped to her waist. Well, that's that was her one base. of the corniest things I've ever seen. It's like, like she's straight. How, she's, how is this helping the gay community? It's not helping them. It's not no, helping us. It, it was like unnecessary and stupid. And that song, oh my God, that fucking song was terrible. My ears were bleeding. I couldn't have had to mute it when I was watching the clip. I was like, God. They chose the worst gays imaginable. They do. All the time. Great gays right there. That's what I was like, aren't you mad that they only pick the really sexualized fucking weirdos to like prop up? They don't ever have anyone that's like not like that now. Like they're always, it's like you're a novelty. Like, aren't you offended by that? Like, that's all they showcase about you? Like, why most would you gay want people that? are offended by that? That's the thing, is most gay people, majority of them are like, what the hell? Like, it's like it's like how uh in like 2010, every white girl was like, I really want a gay best friend. It's like like, why do they have to be gay? Like, oh, it first went gay from- men are a lot of fun, though. And they're they are very a lot validating. Of fun. Yeah, normal the thing is, it went it from- like If you had Black Reading Story Hour, and they've chose the most cracked out, ghetto, <laughs> laka laka dude with, like, white, like, the Dave the Chappelle character with the white lips. Like, yeah. I don't know, we need like, a motherfucker. Get around, please. Yeah. That's what it is. It's, it's a, it's a like, minstrel show. You're not helping show. the group here. Yeah. You're it's not helping stuff. anyone. Is a minstrel show. What's happening is is that uh, gay people went from being straight people's poodles, minstrel. you know, those girls who care on gay friends as if like they're like accessories or something, to this where it's now it's like if you're not like loud and everywhere and like a party person, it's like you're not one of them now. It's just it's it's it, we've be gay people have become a novelty, as Leanne says. It's really frustrating. Gavin, yeah, we have a question here from Jeffrey oh, Adams. Uh, Gavin, <laughs> any comment on the new bills, C11 censorship, etc., laws in Canada? What's your opinion on the direction of Canada? Uh, my opinion on that is don't sleep on Canada. We we think that it's a different country and we're never going to get there. Ezra Levant from Rebel Media said, he goes, I love, I love, well, he said, I love going to Britain because it's a dystopian time machine and I get to see what America will be like in five years. Oh, I God. feel that way about going to Canada. You go to Canada and you see what America will be like in five years. Don't ignore it. I know Americans think Canada does, doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. No, it's where we're going to be. And I don't. Right I think now, anything's possible with this. Canada market. is declaring war on free speech. Like comedians get fined tens of thousands of dollars for offending lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. And we're not far behind that. It's not a different country. It's the same country. Like the it's, content creators in Canada, not, if this like happens, they are going to be under a microscope to the point where either they're saying they have to cut off Canada, like where they live. They don't want their content shown because it has to go through the government and they, they say what can go up. So they're like, should I just not? Is that an option? So Canadians can't even show their content to other Canadians possibly because it's going to get taken down and it has to go through the government. Like that is terrifying. That is not normal. That is. Gavin, can you explain shit. exactly what is C11? It's basically where the government is going to filter through all Canadian content creators and they'll deem what's okay to put online. So anything okay. that's misinformation or hateful, which can be fucking anything. So like they're scared, the content creators, because they're, it could possibly be really fucked. 
Like they're going to literally go through the government. The government has to okay your content to, and to see what they see. He's the son of Fidel Castro. That's not. That's fucking terrifying that's if they do that. That's very. You know what I about, by the way, Fidel Castro invaded Cuba originally. <laughs> I mean, it didn't work. He didn't. He was not successful. And I think he went to jail for like a month. And then he was released because his dad is rich and they worked it out with the authorities. Um, the, the guys, the January 6th guys are now looking at there's 16 months in there. Um, that's worse than Fidel Castro, who was obviously definitely trying to overthrow the government. But yeah, Justin Trudeau has decided that he cannot be criticized. So anyone who makes a YouTube video or a comedy sketch that makes fun of him has to be persecuted. <laughs> You're making popcorn? Ooh, that sounds good. No, Gavin, making- I have to ask, uh, what's your uh, opinion on... How there's a lot of people. I think he, I think he was still explaining this. Oh, okay, on. sorry. I, I have a question about January six, though. He might have a. My, my cunt wife tried to make a fucking <laughs> pop. Oh, just make the loudest snack possible. I love it. No wonder we're getting divorced. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, so you said that anyone who's critical of Trudeau, basically. Yeah, is it's really a it. like he spent something like three hundred million dollars on the local media to make sure that they have everything they need, which is obviously a bribe, but there's not a lot of people in Canadian media. Canada is a small country, same population as Britain, basically. So when you throw 300 million at something like media, you're getting like 30,000 people. So these, everyone was getting like a hundred grand to kiss his ass. Wow. It's fucking insane. The guy is the biggest loser in the history of politics and they keep fucking reelecting him because women think he's hot uh, and it's very dangerous because I'm headed there for my brother's wedding soon. And there's absolutely no way I'm not going to be held at the border for a million hours for, I don't know, starting a hate group, <laughs> but you didn't start it on purpose. It was a social club at first. That's uh, it. It's, you know what? It's not a hate group, and January 6th was awesome. I'm sorry. Let's just cut this It was a blast, and it was chill. It was fucking And it was not that big a deal. Antifa should be kissing our asses. You guys want to smash the state? Those guys smashed the state. That was pretty fucking awesome. Sorry. Sorry. I apologize for feeling this way. I I, I do want to ask Gavin... Um, when it comes to January 6th, does it bother you? There's a lot of people serving. Uh, they're, they're basically thrown in jail right away without even a trial date. They're thrown into prison. But there's still a lot of people who are pretty significant. Uh, they were there on January like 6th Ray at Epps. the Capitol. There was a lot of people who were there at the Capitol on January 6th, and they still haven't faced trial. Uh, but they're not in prison. They're living their lives normally. So how, like, what, how do you feel about that exactly? Like, do you have any curiosities about that? Why certain people were chosen to be thrown in prison right away? Why some weren't? Yeah, I think there's some really fishy shit going on with this fucking day. Who's Ray Epps? Why, why was he yelling about the Capitol? Who pulled the barricades back? I have, like, Ethan Nordeen has been in prison for 16 months in solitary confinement. I have footage of cops saying to him, Look, man, you guys are going to go in. You're going to keep it cool. Don't cause any problems. And everyone agreeing. And then them slowly being let in. Cops opening the door behind them saying, okay, come on in. As they let them in. They stayed in between Mm -hmm. the velvet ropes. Joe Biggs went pee in the bathroom. And then he came out and he was like, and the cop goes, can you just get out of here? And Joe was like, yeah, okay. Wow. Like Joe might be in jail for... 20 fucking years. That's what's crazy to me is that Joe 20. is thrown into jail for 20 years. And there's some people who went into the offices were going through files and they still haven't even faced trial or had any prison oh, time all these whatsoever. Cold bear producers. I'm not, saying, to them. I'm not saying they should face trial. It's just a little weird. It was almost yeah. as of cherry picking. Certain people are thrown into prison and some people are still living their lives, haven't even faced a trial date. Yeah, that's that's an what's example of them. a little tricky of... Uh, Look, January 6th was bad. They shouldn't have done that. But if 
like your wife is fucking the owner of your local bar and you trash the bar and whip like bottles through the window. You should not do that. You just destroyed that guy's bar. But I understand that you lost your temper. Hmm. That's January 6th. It was just people justifiably losing their temper. And they did bad things. They broke stuff and they trespassed and they vandalized. And I understand why they were mad. And I get it. I told them not to go, by the way. I begged them not to go. But I got that they did it. Yeah. 16 months in solitary and 20 years. How the fuck do we even James Fields? Okay. Bad man, Nazi. I don't like Nazis. I get it. But Antifa was fucking smashing his car, breaking his window. He drove into the crowd to get away from them. Heather Heyer was killed. He got life plus 450 years. Dude, you could cut a baby's head off and fuck the hole. And get 15 years. Damn. Well, I want to know. It's, <laughs> again, it's just a little fishy to me. Certain people. It's it, Again, it almost feels as if they went through a list of people and just like pointed randomly at who was going to serve prison time and who wasn't. Because again, like there were certain people who just went to the bathroom, who walked in waving a flag and they were thrown to prison without what trial. They're, doing? they're like oh, walking yeah, like- out with the podium like. And then guys. there are certain people. Like who went not, into that, offices, that's what Gavin? To kill anyone? So why is it people who went into offices were going through files, messing around with with with, with stuff, weren't given any trials, weren't thrown into jail? But you got people who just went to use the restroom and were thrown in for twenty years. It feels like to me it was. It's almost as if they were cherry picking with who had to serve time and who didn't. Absolutely, it was Absolutely. very strange. It's bizarre. And you look at the, the way these people behave, like the dude with the buffalo horns. Oh, he wasn't trying to take over the government. Yeah, he's, no. He's currently serving four years. Why? Oh. What did, like, can you imagine? I saw this New York Times thing that was on the front page on Friday, and they had frozen like every Proud Boy. So there's someone pushing a barricade, and then they freeze it. And then the, the Proud Boy is like color, and everything else is black and white. And they spent hundreds of thousands of hours analyzing this video and i'm like okay you got congratulations you got proud boys being bad men i got gotcha. you can you imagine them doing that to antifa and blm like when they're throwing fucking molotov cocktails into cop cars lighting up dumpsters lighting up gas stations it's not literally yeah destroying there's police stations no way in hell gavin do you think there are people thousand hours analyzing antifa footage it's just not possible do you think there are people at January 6th who may have worn MAGA hats who might have been working with the the government or even after went to January 6th and were contacted by the government and gave them information as a way to avoid prison time? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. And there was there's there's Proud Boys who are flipping now, by the way. And I'm aware of that. Proud Boys. And I think what happens is you you know, you have you have three kids, you're all young. Mm-hmm. And you're looking at 20 years in prison and, you know, you snap. you got to be a hell of a man to say, I'm not going to snap. I'm not going to flip. I'm going to stand my ground. And you can throw me like I talk to Joe Biggs yeah. and Ethan Nordine all the time in prison. And they're like, if I have to be a martyr, I'll be a martyr. Those guys are not going to see their child for their child's entire life. Do you That's think fucking balls? I don't I honestly don't think I have those kind of balls, by the way. I don't do have you those think kind of... any of those. Do you think any of those people do you think a lot of what happened in January 6th was pre-planned? Do you think people no, were no. they 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 had a, a concert at 3 p.m. Mm-hmm. to see Michael Graves, the singer of the misfits, do a show that afternoon. So I'm gonna overthrow the most powerful yeah. government in the world in under with two no hours. Guns. And in the morning, and um, I'll own the government, I guess. And then I'm going to piss off and go see Michael Graves at 3 p.m. You're going to conquer America. Who's Michael Graves? He used to sing for the Misfits. He's a proud boy. He does uh, acoustic sets. Mm. Again, I'm only asking these questions because these are things that a lot of media outlets are saying. I'm just trying to get your like what your your take on it. Why would you plan? Why would you have a 3 p.m. concert? Yeah. When your your morning plan was to overthrow the US government. <laughs> if if I'm gonna overthrow the US government, I'm gonna have forty billion dollars in cash. 
Don't have night uh, plans either. I'm going to take a 10 year planning. <laughs> I'm going to have 650,000 militia. Uh, like it's going to be the most complicated fucking invasion ever imaginable. It's not going to be like, you know what? Let's fucking take over America, dude. Yeah. I want to ask Gavin, <laughs> do you think there was any people in the Proud Boys who were talking to the uh, federal government or FBI or CIA before January 6th? Uh, I don't know what that means. Like, like what, do you think there were, do you think there were any Proud Boys who had been giving information to the government or the, FBI, the, CIA the thing prior? The Proud Boys that's complicated is when they have these rallies, they call the FBI and they say, we're going to do this rally at this time. I don't want any trouble. Like yeah. we're gonna go down this street and that street. Like they always try to get permits and make everything legit. So that looks like talking to the FBI. But yeah, as just, far as like Proud yeah. Boys planning a fake insurrection, I don't fucking know. Yeah. And how would they get a, a you know a million plus random other Americans to just join in? There were there were like over one to two million people there. Well, that's, they were that's what no one talks about. There was there was a hundred thousand people there that day. 100,000 people were mad about the election. More, I think. A third of Americans, by the way, don't like this election. A third. We're a population of 331 million. That's 100 million people going like, something's not right with this election. You know, I'm surprised a lot of news outlet, outlets haven't talked to you, Gavin, just because I feel like you've been given so much information. You have a, a different perspective that really is not out there. I feel like your perspective is not been gone over yet I think it's about because one of my, my one of my media requirements is that i do all interviews nude mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. um, kevin who is your least favorite ex-vice employee and why um i would say shane smith because we started the company together i hired him and he stabbed me in the back oh what a dick what a dick <laughs> what a jerk Fuck, um, um <laughs> Yes. Oh, here's one more. Canadians have to stop voting for Fidel's son and his comrades from the liberal green NDP and PC parties. I think we're screwed because I legit know people who voted for my dear leader based on his hair alone. I initially thought he was cute, but then I got wise. So I did not. I don't yeah. see yeah. I think he's ugly. He looks weird. He looks like a ventriloquist doll. Like <laughs> he does. He's not sexy, my type. But that's not how you run a country. Not, being gorgeous. Right. I don't know. Some of my friends, they had up uh, a calendar of him and it was every time he was running and his nipples were hard. Oh, God. Oh. That sounds terrible. Why do you want to be a man's hard nipples? Who is Does he have big you, nipples? Oh, hard? this is Anna. This is Anna. Oh. She's very hot, too. Hi. Nice to meet you. I was watching Hi, your you? Joe Rogan episode. I'm with the gals. I had no idea who you were. I'm sorry. I don't like politics. Oh, at all. I'm like anti-politics. So I was watching that. It was a lot. But um, you seem pretty chill now. He's very chill. No, I'm very I'm misunderstood. Chill. I'm a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see that coming. Happy Father's Day, by the way. Thank you very much. Yes, You're welcome. Happy Father's Day. Does, is the popcorn... I, did the popcorn get turned off? I don't hear it popping. I made her pop it upstairs. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't mean for this to be so much about the six, oh, pop but cast. pop mm. pop cast. Uh, Matthew Perkins, uh, the big difference between Canada and Britain and here is a something called the Bill of Rights. Leftists have had more steps to take here. Thankfully. Yeah. That's a good point too. Like, People I keep comparing know, America to like Norway. What happened there? Sorry, sorry. Something like an ad opened in the background. People keep I've been comparing gone for like Norway two weeks, so it's like America everything's like popping. Norway and Finland and other European countries. America is very unique. America is a gun country. If you don't like it, you can leave. But that's the deal. They had a war with Britain. They won, which was pretty impressive, by the way. It was a handful of fucking people in trees and Indians and fucking freaks doing guerrilla warfare. They won. They declared independence from Britain. Wow. Uh, but from now on, this is a gun country. You can wish, like my kids, we used to go to this, with this church 
And the nuns, when my kids were really young, that they'd go, the kids would go to another room because it was so boring. And the kids would watch a cartoon about Jesus or some shit. <laughs> and the nun there said to my daughter and my son, um, I wish I could just build a big bonfire and burn all the guns in the world. Oh, no. A, retarded. <laughs> B, not bad for guns. Guns don't really hate being burned. Like mm -mm. The, the wood stocks don't like it, but the rest of the guns, fine. It's fucking steel, you dumb bitch. And then <laughs> three, okay, say that happens and all the guns vanish. Like say I could make all the guns in America go disappear right now. How long till they're back? Like yeah. an hour. A fucking hour. 3D you know, printer. You can make them. Yeah. The or they'll just use knives like Britain. They Like their knife crime is out of control. It banned so, butter knives. Like, over with cars. We'll just use knives like Hispanic people. <laughs> yeah. They're no, machine. seriously. In England, you have to get a license to buy a butter knife. Like you have to get it. Like you have to get checked out to buy butter knives because it's gotten so bad. Atan says to Gavin, Susan Winemaker says, hi, she recently lost her mom. She speaks very highly of you. You were quite the character back then in Montreal. Oh, she was a great girlfriend. Very intelligent. And the thing about fucking a chick is like a oh, joke, by the way, it's only five minutes. And you have to hang out with them. <laughs> like, hanging, out with, hanging out with Susan was fun as hell. Like we'd go get breakfast. She worked in New Orleans for a while and I'd fly down there and hang out with her. She's a, she's one of the smartest people I've ever hung out with in my life. I miss her a lot. Oh, I think she that's part of being an adult is like her. making. She what? I should contact her. I guess. She lost oh, her. yeah, that's a good chance. Dan, she would just like we'd be fucking. She go, you can put it in my ass if you want. Really? <laughs> that's quite that's a lady. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that. I'm never like, hey, let's make this worse for me. Yeah, no? right. No thanks. I'm having a great time. Let's turn that down. <laughs> Especially after dinner. Uh, boy, Gavo, don't muck about. Is this a Canadian slogan? No, that's a British expression. Oh, don't muck about. What are you doing? Well, I don't know if I finish the Tommy Robinson thing. Tom, like like talking about courting Anthony Cumia, I court Tommy Robinson because the three days I spent up there with him and his friends was like the most fun I've ever had in my life. Aww. We were fucking doing nose beers and getting shit faced and parting our asses up. At one point, we go to this breakfast place and we're eating like an English breakfast, you know, with fried tomatoes and all the deal. Oh, wow. They love their big breakfast, which I don't care. Baked don't, beans. Baked beans. No. So I'm flirting with the waitress, and um, she's not interested, believe it or not. And uh, one of Tommy's friends goes, Gavin's always been faithful to his wife, but it's not for want of trying. And then just, <laughs> ah, laughs her fucking head off. I felt like I was in like a Viking club. That's fun. It was That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Actually, the night I stayed at Tommy's house too. I'm I'm drink I'm been shit faced for three days too. Plus, there's the time difference. So when you party in Britain, you're like, I'm fucking ready to wreck. And it's like when you're there, 11 p.m. is your you know 4 a.m. So you're like fucking waste Damn. all time. And I I'm like, you guys, what's going on with you? What are you gonna talk? What are you doing? <laughs> and then I realized, oh shit, Tommy's going to jail tomorrow. Oh He's no! With his wife, who is a fucking alarming smoke show, and I realize, oh shit, they want to spend a, their last night together, and I'm sitting there in their face, like, so you guys want to do shots or? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Maybe they want to do shots with you on his Let's last get night. Get some fucking nose beers and fucking party. <laughs> <laughs> and then she leaned over to you and said, "Hey, you want to put it in my ass?" <laughs> no, no. Don't fuck your wife in her ass. <laughs> Or you go to prison? Or, no, that's a no. And I then mean, I realized, oh, I get it. You guys want to be together. Okay, so bye. Oh, wow. Thank you, Rover, for the super chat. Uh, the most important thing is to remember the bird, which is the bald eagle. I mean, okay. I don't think it's... Uh... Oh, that's what's the bird bald joke. eagle? Okay. Would you like me to explain that inside yes, joke? Yes, please. Okay, so... 
George Floyd's brother has the stupidest name in the world, and it's felonious, oh. which is it comes from the word felon. Felon. I, I guess his parents never Googled the son's name. So Ben Crump, who is an ambulance chaser, Al Sharpton type, um, is obsessed with his new concept, which is if bald eagles can be on the endangered species list, why aren't black men? Uh, oh. Because cops are hunting them for sport. And you're like, well, that's a great point, but cops aren't hunting them for sport. But besides that, yeah, you have a great concept there. So he tells Felonious Floyd, his fucking name is Felonious. <laughs> he tells oh, it is. Floyd, he's like, dude, when you're talking about George, talk about my thing, my bald eagle thing, and say, why is the bald eagle on the endangered list and black men are not? I think black men should be on the endangered list. They're, they're fucking being hunted down. So that was his instructions. And they went through it 32 times. And then Felonious Floyd, who has like his Gucci glasses on, and he's, <laughs> he's basking in the attention. He's like, he does his speech and he's like, actually, everything's going great. People are shaking my hands and giving me money. And then Ben Crump is like, can you do the fucking the bald eagle thing? And so Felonious goes, oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. So how come they can have the bird, which is the bald eagle, <laughs> On the endangered list, and you can see Ben <laughs> Trump go, oh, for fuck. oh no, he forgot it. You see Ben like be oh, heartbroken that he didn't say it right. <laughs> so on said. my show, everyone talks about the bird, which is the bald eagle. In fact, <laughs> I have a tattoo of the bird. No. Of the bald eagle. Yeah. No way. Did you just get that? Yes, I got that because of this scene. Oh. And everyone who comes to my shows gets in for free if they have this tattoo. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god. I got a bird which that. is the bald eagle. Let's hear. I wonder if this is the clip. We're just thankful for what's going on and we just want this George for a police act to be passed in the future. Is there any message? Could I ask you real quick? No. Is there a message you want to give no. people to Because know? this this is the thing. If you can make federal laws to protect the bird, which is the bald eagle. You can make federal laws to protect people of color. The bird, the bird, which is the bald eagle. Isn't there always federal laws to protect people? It's so funny how Ben is like whispering, like, "Wait, say one more thing. Say the thing." Say yeah, the I thing. know. Oh God, say the thing. Don't forget about the bull thing. When Polonius fucks it up, you can see Ben go. Oh. When does he fuck it up? No, because know? this this is the thing. If you can make federal laws to protect the bird, which is the bald yeah, eagle, cut out. you, you can't make cut federal laws to uh, protect people of color. Ben wears a giant I think bald he makes eagle up the word. Propel. I gotta get this bald eagle. I've been trying to buy it. I can't find it anywhere. The bird, which is the bald eagle. Oh, man. That's so he funny. Has a, he has a thing called the Bald Eagle Foundation. But bald eagles aren't endangered anymore. They're low key doing great. They're dicks. A lot of them are assholes. They're you know, all over the There's like eagle nest all over. Did you know our national bird is almost the turkey? Almost I did know that. know that. Yes. Because it's red, white, and blue. Ben Franklin didn't like the eagle because he said it was a scavenger. <laughs> Olivia, wait, 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 wait. What's red, white, and blue? Anti it's Ben Trump talking. I think exactly. Ben Crump was a piece of shit ambulance chaser, so just okay. keep on keeping on. <laughs> no, I thought it was because the turkey represents hum, uh, like nobility or something. That's what Ben yeah. Franklin said. How the hell are turkeys noble? Wander across the road. They're like wandering through the forest. Eagles fly in the sky. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, eagles are way cooler than a fucking turkey. Way cooler. Way cooler. We you know this turkey, cool. they don't turkey eat vulture. Eagles? Turkey vulture, like its whole he willing to get his whole head covered in blood and no, guts. Fuck a turkey vulture. I don't like that either. They're kind of uh, scary. Yeah, they they ride the thermals for like four hours looking for a dead raccoon. That's sad. That's not America. That's like a. <laughs> they just want to survive, like man. That's an ambulance. <laughs> that's exactly what Ben Crump is. He just yeah. flies around ben looking for the turkey <laughs> vulture. <laughs> Think his beak into yeah, just waiting. <laughs> Benjamin Crump, he's like, 
think like Al Sharpton, but like a lawyer. Like a great worse. value, Al Sharpton. I didn't know you could do worse great. than Al Sharpton, but Ben Crump is worse than Al Sharpton. He's uh, yeah. he's up there, yeah. What a Damn. fucking weird. I thought it would have been way funnier if he didn't like mouth it to him. If he would have just like started flapping his arms like eagle, Remember. like don't forget, <laughs> don't forget Remember that thing. Say the ball like, thing. Yeah, like that. Oh was his my code. god. Oh, What's... Gordon, thank you. Gavin, love coffee brand coffee, coffee, teas, and hot cocoa. Don't ask him though. Just trust me. Wow, uh, thanks, quartering. I'm in clutch with the ad. I almost bought the, the coffee and then I got distra distracted. And uh, I'll buy some because I need coffee. What's so I'll your love tomorrow. life like, Chrissy? Are you still with that guy? Yes. Yeah, I'm still with Frank. Yeah. So, are you guys married, or what's your deal? No, not yet. So you're you're both like yet. boyfriend girlfriend. <laughs> Here we and go. And you can have babies, right? What's going on here? <laughs> no, your of course I can't. I haven't tried yet. <laughs> oh my! How old are you? Oh my god! Not this again. She's seventy-eight. Probably, I probably have two <laughs> eggs left. No, that's what I'm, I tell her. I'm seventy-five. I'm gonna figure it out soon. I know we talk about this every time you come on, and like every time you come on, you're like, "Fucking get on with it already." <laughs> I have to, because if I don't, I'm gonna have a retarded baby, which nobody wants. That. How old are you? Oh God! All right. Well, okay. Let's see. Let's do the math. I think I'm. <laughs> I think I'm 38. Yeah, it's too late. You blew it. It's too late. It's not too late. It's not too late. My mom had there, my sisters in her 40s. There are stories yeah, in the Bible of elderly women giving birth. My mother had my brother when she was 40. My my wife had my youngest when she was 40. That's all anecdotal evidence. You waited too long. You blew it. I did wait too long. I pursued comedy. Why don't you adopt a black? No. You can adopt me. Okay. Yeah, adopt <laughs> Olivia. Adopt. I'll adopt Olivia. Thank you. She's fucking awesome. And she could teach me wrestling moves. Yeah. Wait so yeah. Wait so long. I've, what were you doing? Getting wasted? Uh, I was no, I was doing stand up comedy for eleven years. I was not partying at all. I was I did like improv for five years, stand up for eleven, and I just was like I think I was just afraid to get married stand until like maybe six years ago. But like stand up for eleven, that doesn't that, that, that implies you're at some sort of like concentration camp. You can't. <laughs> it kind of is. You're out. You can't, have to be can't do, do anything right. but tell jokes. You should be out every night, like basically yeah, fucking a man. figuring it out. Yeah. I know. I did exactly what my mom state? said. I no. I hope not. God. Uh, maybe it reeks. Maybe my your mom cunt would, smells like rotten maybe, fish. Maybe I have a rotten cunt, Gavin. That's, <laughs> I never thought of that. Your cunt reeks. That's the problem. That's it. That's it. Yeah. This whole time I had no idea. Can we get opinion? Your nipples reek. No. That's the problem. You got fish nipples. Oh, gross. Yeah. I mean, That's they do you never a man. squirt out <laughs> that fish. fish have nipples. Right when in high school called you fish nipples because your nipples <laughs> reek. Fish nipples. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lord. No, I definitely, uh, I don't know. Keep I guess her I'm not bra on. Her nipples reek. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Okay, are we done with me now? Okay. <laughs> Can we move on? My self esteem is already below what sea level. What's going on between this guy? Like, how old and is your he? nipples are beautiful. How old is this guy? They are not know what your nipples are like. <laughs> yeah. You don't know how my nipples are like. Um, thirty seven. And how old are you? Thirty eight. Cougar. Okay. And we've been together and like seven You're not going to adopt a kid. You're not having kids. No. Not having. No. Uh, why he does already he has a kid. Why does he put a finger on it? Why does he put a ring on it? Put a finger on it? Put a finger in it. Uh, I don't know. I don't it. know that this is really simp cast material. <laughs> I don't know. You're the star of the show. People want to yeah, know about true. your life. I know. I don't know. I don't have answers, Gavin. I have no answers. So he hasn't proposed. Are you mad <sighs> that he hasn't proposed? I think I'm... I don't know. I would at a t there I'm was mad. a time where I was like over it, and then I don't know. It kind of already feels like Frank married. is in the hot seat right now. <laughs> oh like, my, propose, dude, propose! Ugh. Get on here, Frank. Defend your honor. It's already too late. <laughs> Get on the show, Frank. <laughs> it's already too late. It's already. 
I don't know. I now I get I understand why people get married in their 20s. Like you got to do it while it's exciting and like fresh. Like you got to do it while you're still in like the peak excitement. Because if, hey, if you want to make kids, you want to make kids. And also that. Yeah. All that matters is kids. All that matters is kids. Yeah. Make babies. True, true. All right. All right. Hey, let's go to a super chat. Funny enough, Kevin Christie recently lost a, uh, oh a vaginal gosh. hygiene contest. No, this was a guy online that has three adult sex dolls in his house. He thought that I he's never I've never met this man. but He thought I that my vagina didn't smell good based on my sense of humor. <sighs> oh, Sounds like I hate, vagina this reeks. I hate this show. Today. Sounds like he's right. I'm gonna quit the show after today. No more. This is the final simp cast. Everyone. Your vagina is Be nice to Chrissy, Chrissy, Gavin. Everyone in the right. chat, simp for Chrissy. Please. No, don't. Don't no, simp for me. Like don't simp like through Zoom. Don't simp for me. I'm already dead. That's like a tell Chrissy quote. she's pretty. No, it's she's fine. Very pretty. She's a 7.8. I bet Chrissy smells beautiful. I've smelled Chrissy before. She's amazing. She's yeah, I'm vanilla. Vanilla. I'm I'm my veg. It smells oh. great. It smells. It smells Chrissy like smells like vanilla. And what they call in Asian countries a leftover <laughs> woman. <laughs> uh, Elsa Bear is saying not to give up. Better my sister it smells like a fresh fish. A fresh one? Yeah, like salmon kind of. Very fresh salmon. Doesn't really smell like anything. It's from the fish market. <laughs> It's right from the fish market. Just slap it down on a piece of wax paper. Don't give up, Chrissy. My sister had two you kids after I, 40. I, to Chrissy, I think I wish I had a sister. I have a brother, but I wish Aww. I had a sister. I would like to be your sister. I can do like cunt jokes with a family member. It's fun. <laughs> it is fun to do cunt jokes. Yeah. Yeah. Aw. Okay. Okay. What's your <laughs> thoughts on religion and its importance during this culture war? Oh, this is a good topic change. Um, I yeah, I think Take religion is incredibly important. I think we can argue about the minutia of like, did Jesus come back and blah blah blah. But uh, Catholicism, Judaism, let's acknowledge that there's a massive force out there that created the universe. Let's be reverent to that, please. You can call it nature if you want. If that makes you feel better, if you want to sleep at night and and call yourself an atheist then call it nature but there's weird shit that goes on like if you fuck your sister you make a retard there's checks and balances in the dna that has been set up previously by i don't know something someone so i am very reverent to god i don't get into the details of catholicism i don't think buddhists for example are going to hell I think gays are going to hell or any of that dumb shit. But uh, I'm just in constant awe of God. I'm so thankful that I was born, that my children were born. Like I see my daughter. I, I was an atheist when I was young. But when my daughter was born and I was looking at her heel and I realized like this thing, this little pad, it, she was like a month old. And I was like, this pad works. Like she'll be able to walk on it. Aww. And I went... This is a gift from God. Thank you so much, God, for like the inexorably complicated system of her lungs and her heart and all the capillaries that go throughout her body and the veins that go down her arms. Like, thank you. Thank you for giving me this beautiful creature who, by the way, I watch a thousand pound life with now that she's 15. Um <laughs> They made That's a reboot hard. to Six Hundred Pound Life. Yeah, Thousand Pound Sisters. Oh God, they're really a thousand pounds. Yeah, oh together, God. one's six hundred, one's four hundred. And I bet they're both married with kids right now. That's the thing; they get tons of cock. They get they're so much cock. action. They they're like, yeah, keep eating. Do well than most single women in New York, I know. Oh, yeah. Is that the one where in the first episode they had to take the the fatter sister to like a truck stop to put her on the weight there? Yes. Yeah. Oh my god! Did you ever lose any of that weight or no? Dude, Americans are so fucking fat. It's insane. Like I'm oh, my brother's bachelor party is in Canada, and I made T-shirts. I used to call him Pig Boy because when I would tickle him when he was a little kid, he would squeal like a pig. So I always called him Pig Boy. 
and he has an upturned nose, so he looks like a pig to me. So I was like, pig boy, bachelor party. And I, I contacted all the guys at the bachelor party. I'm like, like, give me your sizes. The sizes are like 5XL. And I'm, I'm, I'm texting them back on Telegram, and I'm like, you realize large is large, right? Like you're five times extra large. Large is supposed to be large. The, the, the fucking numbers I'm getting back from you guys is like medium is small. Extra large is where the sizes should stop. Yeah. 5XL. I, I, I printed like 10 5XLs, 3 3XLs, 2 double XLs. Like XL is for fags. <laughs> I think I have one small mate. You oh, fucking damn. fat pigs. And they go, I just don't like it. I find it too clingy when it's like an XL. What? Who says like that? An XL. an XL is like a sheet of fabric. <laughs> like a tent. Fat <laughs> pig. You guys been to Disney recently too? Disney is oh like my God. Yeah. Yes. They're all in motorized carts. Oh my gosh, it was insane. They're... They don't like walking. Not because they crazy. Well, not just that, but like I see I want to go go into Nicole Arbor rant, but like there are a lot of Americans. Like I'll be walking around Disney World. I'm like, how are these people like how is this many people this overweight? This can't just be a genetics thing. It just can't. Because they're telling them it's beautiful. Wally time. predicted the future. <laughs> you should have seen the CEOs today when we were getting when we we're visiting Max and John. Every CEO was a fucking ginormous fat pig, and you could see like they're weird. It's never normal too. It's like you can see these weird folds like coming out no. of weird <laughs> areas. Like it's depraved. It's wrong. It's overweight. Stop being such a fat fucking pig. Please. I'm begging. <laughs> Do you think part of it is they're making shirts smaller or is that a cope? No, they're not making shirts smaller. They're making shirts <laughs> I'm having trouble. I'm, I print t-shirts for our site and I'm having trouble like getting triple five XLs because they're <laughs> over demanded. Wow. They're like the shelves are bare. <laughs> That's bad. Um, Gavin, would you fight a trans woman? Sure. <laughs> I did fight a woman once. It's so, it's not good. No. I fought a woman. There was this chick at my gym who was a um, cool woman. I liked her a lot. We were friends. And uh, I fought her once, and I, I guess she thinks she won or whatever. So when I showed up to spar on another week, she was like, uh oh, I'm here. And the joke seemed to be becoming Gavin scared of this woman which i obviously have so i was like okay i don't like that uh so when we were sparring i was like psh, 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 like i fucking i'm sorry to say this are you actually I, good i fucked her up wow. no i'm not i'm the worst boxer in the world i was impressed by just world. that but I, okay. I punched her in the face like five times and she was disoriented and i was like i can't have you joking about like uh oh, Olga's here. Like it's some sort of joke, like uh, you know, you know, in a, a sitcom, where there's like you know the 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 fucking um, what's that called? <laughs> the, the the like a slap the, fight. The Range Rovers guys. <laughs> the what? The, what? Guys? the guys who have the stormtroopers guys. They okay, did a okay. beer about beer, and they had that ugly chick who was chugging the beer. I was like, I'm drifting into that territory. I don't want that. But I'm, I'm, after I punched her out, like, bang, bang, I punched her in the fucking face. I felt weird for, like, three days. Oh. I'm, like, walking down the street. I'm drinking a coffee, and I'm like, I punched a woman in the oh. face really hard, and she was disoriented, and that's not good. Yeah, but oh, was she mad? No, no. Like, at did all. she care? Oh, oh she didn't care. Olivia's a wrestler, so she has a lot of experience. She's fought dudes and won. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this shit was uh, this shit was wild. And um, 
I really hate when people use that argument to say, well, oh, well, you beat dudes or whatever, whatever. That means that trans women should be in uh, should be in women's sports. I'm like, I'm a fucking anomaly. Like the average woman is not out here being dudes in wrestling. Like I can understand that. And I'll also point out the fact that I was like in high school, I would be considered like a decent boys wrestler. Like I, I was not a state champion or like any had any high accolades in, in men's wrestling. I just like won a bunch of matches in women's wrestling. I was on the literal Olympic development team and won nationals three times. So a decent men's wrestler would be the equivalent of like, national champion women's wrestler that's just it is what it is so i really i just had to go on a little rant there because when people bring that up they're like they use me as like they're fucking like pro transgender and women's sports argument i really hate that shit and you're like i don't have a dick yeah <laughs> also, wrestling, is, wrestling is a series of moves where you come at me like this i can go doop 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 i i, I don't know really, really know what i'm talking about but in boxing there's like fucking it's more like random it seems to me like if Radio? someone, yeah, if someone jabs, goes to punch you, like you go to block it. You don't have, in wrestling, you can sort of like grab a guy and do this thing and do that like thing. Like choreograph. And offense and defense like that. I mean, you shoot, the other guy sprawls, you know, you go for a, uh, like a collar tie, the other guy clears it. Like there, it's, it's very much like chess, in my opinion. There's lots of very small moves. There's a thing called chain wrestling where um, people will, almost have a form or a direction for where they want to go when they're wrestling from when they start. So if I start here, I'm going to do this move, this move, this move, X, Y, Z, then I'm going to pin you. So that's why I think it looks kind of random. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's, it's very like an intelligent, like kind of a mind game. Hmm. Pat Maloney thinks Olivia would mess Gavin up. No offense, Gavin, you should learn Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Okay. Well, we're going to be charging tickets. Olivia and I are going to be <laughs> fighting. <laughs> I would watch that. Doing a, uh, I would too, for sure. Brazilian wrestle nude, by the way, nude. Ooh, so you have to get a Brazilian first. <laughs> I'll be getting Brazilians first. <laughs> That's just good to have no matter what's happening. Dude, when I, the thing about driving upstate and seeing these guys in prison is it's so fucking boring because it's a six hour drive. So I do Adderall and we snort Coke the whole way up. My penis was the smallest thing you've ever seen. In your life, what it like, shrunk? Well, because I'm doing Adderall and cocaine, it was like this small. I had to point yeah. it down when I went to uh, sat on the bathroom <laughs> toilet. I had to point it down, and my dick's huge, by the way. I'm basically a black guy. Like your penis my... got hard from cocaine and Adderall. No, no, it shrank. <laughs> oh, it shrank. Yeah, he said it was small. <laughs> yeah, it was non existent. It was oh basically. I'm, 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 ready to do stuff. It's like, I'm not circumcised. It was just skin. So it was just oh. like a, a tiny elephant's trunk that I had to point down to go oh. into the toilet. Were you so messed up and you were scared? Like you thought it shrank forever? No, I didn't I, know it could shrink no. like that. The funny thing about having a penis is, it's like I should do an art show of the different penises a penis can be. Like you it can should. be this big. It can be that big. Like it's really. It's amazing the range. I feel like I've penis. judged some people. On that, I could, note, send you, I could send you a dick pic that would make you projectile vomit. On that, <laughs> note, I'm gonna go, guys. I got to Oh, look at that. We scared you yeah. with the penis Thanks talk. Really nice to talk with you all. Thanks to the chat. Olivia, how was oh nice to you this time? What's up, Ashley? Oh. You said the the chat was nicer this time. Yeah, the chat was the chat was better to me this time. Good, because I'm here. Yeah, fuck them. Um, Olivia, where can people find you and follow you? What's coming up, etc. Uh, I'm on Fox Business tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, catch me on Twitter at Rondo Olivia R O N D E A U L I V I A and Instagram Rondo dot Olivia. And also have a YouTube channel. I barely use it, but go subscribe. Olivia, Thank you. The, the chat's on base, Olivia. Okay, I feel better now. Okay. Bye, Olivia. Bye, Olivia. Did I, Olivia. Did I my penis talk? No, she's just I think she busy just all the time. was looking for something organic, and then it wasn't happening, and then she just had to go out on the penis talk. Hmm. Yeah. I thought it was interesting. I mean, it's true. It was interesting. I didn't know that penises could have different moods. This is our, <laughs> it's amazing. The I thought it was just when they're cold. Penis. Mm -hmm. This can go from this to this. No, that's drastic. That's terrifying. I know, it's crazy. 
Vaginas can't do that. How do you know? I don't think vaginas <laughs> should do that. I guess vaginas can, right? They can go from like this to a baby. A baby coming out. Yeah, it just goes the other way and then a dick. And then it never goes back again. It goes so back. I've heard. It, it goes does? Back. Yeah. Can you Kegel it back? You don't have to Kegel it. It just goes back. Really? Okay. Every guy I know is like, don't ever have a baby. Your vagina will never be the same, and no man is ever going to want to go in there. What do they know? Those guys have been with a woman who had a baby, and they're like, your cunt sucks now. Yeah. Like, wh who are those guys? It's My dad? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was fucking this chick. Her pussy was awesome. Then she had a kid, and then her pussy sucked. That's not a thing. That's not a man. Okay. That makes me feel yeah, good. Obviously elastic. Okay, right? That's what it's made for. It's a That's the other thing, too. There's, like, so many jokes about how girls are, quote-unquote, loose, have loose vaginas after they have so much sex and have so many partners. But, like, that's not true uh, that's not how it works so, like where did that joke yeah. start from yeah but if you're with your boyfriend for 10 years and you bang like every day wouldn't that also count like what's the difference true. if it's one dude or like if it's strange or familiar they just say that to like dig at women but if they just look dumb i'm like yeah okay <laughs> doesn't mm -hmm. even make sense i mean unless you're putting like three in there at once i don't really think it's gonna <laughs> do anything <laughs> <laughs> Three, I mean, maybe if you do that or put weird stuff in it, I maybe I don't fucking know, but I don't a really know anyone that does that. They so. ruin their pussies by having babies, and you go, "No, your pussy's great. Don't worry about it." Not a thing. Aww. Now I'm okay, I'm paranoid that Olivia left because I was doing the penis joke. No, she's cool. She can hang. She's just like you know what I tell people: the show's gonna be two hours, and then it's never two hours. Um. So. Almost two hours. Two also, hours Olivia away. is just like a busy bee. So she's, she's a like, busy bee. she's kind of a hot deal, you know? She's busy. She's got things to do. And um, no, we she's... dated for a while. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you and know. Olivia? Yep. Oh my gosh. So you did it. She's 23 wow. years old, Gavin. Been so awkward. I know. I felt guilty because she was so young. <laughs> Crash want to oh simp dollars for Chrissy's self esteem. Thank you. I need it. Thank you, Crash. We would do um we did karaoke a lot and we got competitive about it. And she was like, I can't believe an old dude is better than me at karaoke. And I was like, What's your what's your go to song? London Calling. Oh wow, okay. Very hipster. You you have to choose a song where you know the lyrics and you don't need to look at the words. And here's right. another rule. You have to sound like the guy. So say you do like Prince, you have to do a high-pitched voice. You that is why Anthony like, is so fucking good. Oh, my that. gosh. That's Anthony actually is the best. Anthony is actually the best at karaoke, 100%. Dude, he's gifted. Beyond. We went out with Project Veritas the other night, and I was like, it's 1 a.m., I got to go home. I said to Anthony, I was like, please don't have a fun night with these kids and don't like go to karaoke or whatever. And he's like, I'm going to do exactly that. <laughs> he loves a good time. So I drove home fun. crying. And then he had like a huge karaoke party with everyone from Project Veritas. And Aww. they were doing like Michael Jackson, Prince, nailing songs. That's fun. I actually yes. have Anthony doing karaoke on my phone. When we were the house. Was, oh, like, Gavin, we're doing another content house in Orlando in October. Yeah. You should come. Most Man. of us will be there October 26th through the 30th. Anthony's going to be there and uh, possibly some other cool people you know. When you guys rented that house, when you did that thing, was there fucking going on? Well, there was one hookup in the laundry room. Who hooked up? Yeah. Um... Maybe. She's not here, so one let's the, not say her name. One of the booth guys and uh, one of the girls. Hmm. Nobody would know, but it was okay. fun. Me and Frank fucked before anybody got there on Wednesday <laughs> night. Frank fucked. See? <laughs> I'm trying to get points. I'm trying to impress Gavin. Uh, <laughs> lol. Frank's your boyfriend. Yes. I miss Brittany. 
She's sick today. Sorry. I you had know. crazy migraines. I love you all, but I, I just I feel like Brittany should be here. Hope you with Brittany Ashton. Tits out for Father's Day. So what are you saying? Some unfortunate girls are just born with huge Virginia Virginias. Yes. Virginias? <laughs> Is the state of Virginia? They just have wide set vaginas. Yeah. Well, I gotta go. I gotta okay. go, guys. Kevin, uh, plug. Oops, he's gone. All right, oh. go see uh his show. It's gonna be G uh, June twenty fifth. Censored. It's a live censored TV show. He and Anthony Cumia and Josh Denny will be doing a show in Orlando. Um, the venue is to be announced because you know people will try and cancel it. So I think you have to just stay tuned, and they'll announce it. That was sudden and abrupt, but I think he was. I'm I'm amazed he stayed as long as he did. I wasn't yeah. expecting that. I, I think his like, wife was calling him, but yeah. Oh yeah. She might Gavin's. be burning down the house with the popcorn. Yeah. Can I eat this? Can I eat this pussy and this popcorn? Uh, thank you, Narat and uh, and uh, Sam and Bear for becoming a member. Wow, I can't pronounce that shit. Yes. Also missing Brittany is based shaman Gavin made Brittany Venti shame. She isn't here. She had a crazy um, headache. John Dillinger for Christy, the sweetheart. Thank you. I'll put that in my self-esteem bank. <laughs> uh, Harry White row. Speaking of UK <clears throat> homeschooling might be banned soon. Damn. What? I also heard that the UK schools, they're making kids eat bugs now. So authoritarian of them. Fucking crazy. Oh, uh, whoops. Gavin, would you fight Ethan Ralph? I don't even know if he knows who Ethan Ralph is. Uh, <laughs> Joe's Atmosphere. What do I start my stream with tonight? Beyond Two Souls or DCOU? Enjoying my Father's Day. Friday Night Tights, Dallas ruled. Hail the classiest simp on the net. Oh, I'm FOMOing so hard. I wish I could have been in Dallas. That looks so fun. Um, Tits Out wants to know, what's your take, Anna? Will it ever be the same after that family reunion? Oh, Will you ever eat the pancake mix? Anna, the pancake. The oh my fucking god, the syrup <laughs> shit. Here, Did you okay. know more about that so I didn't mention it at all. Oh my god. So for everyone that does it, oh, I'll tell Leanne since Leanne wasn't there. Okay. Oh, yes, so Leanne, here's some drama. So every week uh, during the summer, my, my boyfriend has three brothers, and one of the brothers lives in Idaho. And so mm -hmm. One week out of the summer, the brother has the girls and he comes down and everyone just kind of stays at his parents' house up in the mountain. So I was up in the mountain for the entire week. And so he went through a really messy divorce, but he's really good friends with his ex-wife's sister because like his ex-wife's batshit crazy. Like she murdered his dogs like oh, that, God. like that batshit crazy. God. And then the sister knew that she was crazy. And so she let him live with her and like her husband and they have a son who's the same age as one of their er, his daughters so all the cousins get along and so they all they come down too even though they're not like blood related and like not marriage anymore but they still come down yeah right sweet. and so it was all of us on the mountain and every morning the granddad or my my boyfriend's dad he makes pancakes and i hate maple syrup and i don't like breakfast food so mm. i don't really eat any of the the pancakes and then they're like, Anna, why don't you eat pancakes? And I was like, well, I only eat it with this one type of very specific syrup, which is boysenberry syrup. And it's hard to find. And I'm like, I didn't, I'm not hungry anyway that early. So I'm, like, I'm just not going to yeah. eat. And they're like, we're going to go to the store and we're going to get, you know, boysenberry syrup. And I was like, OK, I'll go with you so that, you know, I can buy it and whatnot. And they didn't tell me they were leaving. So the brother who got divorced, his new girlfriend and then the, the sister went to the store without me and they come back and she makes this big deal about how she found the boysenberry syrup. And she's like, oh, I had to go to the organic food section. It was like $10. Here's like the tiny bottle of your fancy syrup. She oh, wasn't God. being like a bitch about it, but like she made a point. Yeah. Of, I'm a hero. I found your syrup. And then the next day we're, we're having the pancakes and everyone was kind of like already eating and whatnot. So I used it. And then when I was done, I took the syrup back into the kitchen to clean up after myself because I didn't know anyone else wanted this fucking syrup. And so when that after that, she comes back out with the syrup and makes like kind of a stink about how she's like, this syrup is for everyone. It's not just for Princess Anna. What? 
And she, my boyfriend said she was going to say more, but he was like right there and like she made eye contact, but she was kind of making a point about how it's not just for me. And she didn't know that I was like over by the pool so I could hear her too. And then after I told, I went on Ashton and uh, Chrissy's stream, they were streaming and I kind of vented about that. After that, I went back into like, we, we sleep in like a pop out trailer that has like beds and stuff because there's not enough room in the house. I was in there to charge my phone and I hear her talking with the brother's new girlfriend about me more. Whoa. Crazy. You didn't tell us this part. Yeah, I, I know because it was after I got off the stream with you. And so her the new girlfriend like obviously that's her first time meeting all of us and she's just like is anna always like that but i think she was making more of a point like i'm really reclusive mm -hmm. you know and i'll go off and be by myself and also they smoke and i if you're i don't like being around cigarettes oh i, I would do the same thing i'm exactly like you i am reclusive too and people think yeah. i'm a bitch and i'm not i just like being alone yeah well it's like i i really don't see the point in having like random conversations about nothing and yeah. really judgmental or not not his parents not his family but like that sister in particular she's very judgmental and like loud and obnoxious and it's fine if i'm like just chilling mm -hmm. but it's like they judge you if you just sit there and are polite and don't say anything yeah, you know? exactly so, there's no pleasing them yeah exactly so i either hang out with the kids or i go off into the wilderness and paint but i'm sitting there listening to them and like the new girlfriend was like, oh, is Anna like always like this? And she's like, yeah, like, you know, she likes things a certain way and everything. She didn't say it exactly like this, but it was kind of the point wow. of basically Check that I'm weird. And hmm. she was implying that everyone has to like a not abide by me, but has to kind of deal with me in the way that I am. And I'm like, it's like, we have to deal with you. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, like you have particular tastes, but like some that's just laziness on their part. Like once someone gets to know you, you don't impress upon like your demands on anybody. Yeah. Like you're very easy. You'll kind of opt out. You'll you'll hang back. Like even when we were like in Orlando, me, you and Brittany, like we would go to like you know, restaurants and shit that like you didn't like. And it would, you know, I mean, it's not like you always have to get your way or particular about your likes and dislikes, but you don't. Uh, you don't like strong arm a group over it. Exactly. So. I'm not going to inconvenience people because I am weird, you know? Yeah, me, you that's know, like, how I am too. I don't like to inconvenience people. So exactly. I just, I'm like, I'll stay home. I don't care. Like, I'm good. I'll it was really here. weird. It's really weird too because so there, I'm very particular with like the kind of people I go to amusement parks with because I feel like I'm way into more, I'm way more into amusement parks and like things like, you and I like got to do together yeah. than most people. And sometimes I bring people to amusement parks, they get kind of like, I don't get why you're into this. Like kids are into this. And there are certain people who want to do very specific things. They want to have a set plan. Whereas like you and I had like the best time for two days. And I didn't yeah. get that vibe from you at all. So well, see, and that was like just meeting you for like, you know, not like in the first time, but like that was the first time you and I like hung out like, for that extended amount of time in person. Mm -hmm. But so uh, the story continues. I'm not done. So I hear like them talking about me and they bring up this syrup. And I'm like, again, I would have paid for it if I went there. But then the new girlfriend, she was like, and my, my boyfriend is really easy to get along with. And so she was, I think she was really like uncomfortable because like she mm -hmm. couldn't get the, clicky connection with like my boyfriend's mom or the dad and so my boyfriend's really easy to like just click with and like have drinks with and like play like the games that we were all playing with and so she was hanging out with him a lot and I'm completely fine like I was like all right I know what it's like to be like the new girlfriend meeting the family and then we were going to the store and like me and him had already talked about how we were going to the store because I was starving to death because I'm such a picky eater. I'm like, baby, you need to take me to the store to get fucking food. Aww. And I also wanted to check and see about the fucking syrup because I knew I'm like, they don't have an organic fucking fancy section at that grocery store. I'm like, what is she talking about? And so the, the new girlfriend is like, oh, yeah, let me go. And well, she was talking with him in the kitchen, not knowing I was in the next room. And so like we start going and she realized that I was going and I don't know why I've got the feeling like she didn't want to be around me. Mm. And so 
when we got to the store, I realized why. It's because she knew I was going to find out that she, the other lady was lying. Price about the check. Because, <laughs> man, I go down the syrup aisle. It's <laughs> right there. And it was $3.49, I think. Wow, dude. He showed us in a group chat the prices of this syrup. <laughs> oh, no, it was like maybe four, a little bit over. I don't so remember. Petty. I she know. just doesn't like you, period. Hold up. I know you sent us a picture of the price, too. Yeah, in the I chat. did. And I sent it from, I think, two different stores. I, there was like two stores in town because it's a tiny mountain town. And I was like, mm. $10 from the organic section? My fucking ass. I bought two bottles of it, brought it back to the house, and how she made a big stink about, oh, Anna's a princess. It's her thing. It's it's for everyone. And I brought it in. And my boyfriend's mom, she's like, oh, he's like, why did you get more syrup? I was like, oh, because I know everyone likes it. And I'm, I'm so glad everyone likes it. So I bought more. And Good. then like I saw her like see it. And she that, you know, she knew that I knew she was lying. See, mm -hmm. see, look at that. Look at Blueberry, strawberry. Or is that raspberry? Oh, yeah. Raspberry yeah. and boysenberry. Three dollars and eighty eight cents. You're and then you said it's a whole fucking gallon for you. That is see. just so petty. Like, she just doesn't like you, period. She found a reason to get on you and she was waiting for it. She's so, like, Let Anna, me pick on her for something. This is your. <laughs> This is well, my Anna, chance. Anna then sent us a picture of a regular bottle of maple syrup. But that was from a different store, Ashton. So that the right. one you just showed us from the regular grocery store. I went to the only other store in town later. This is the regular one. It's eight bucks. It's more expensive for regular maple syrup. Mm -hmm. Oh, Carol, this is the syrup they say you can make your own baby formula out of, mm -hmm. like the old school 60s formula version. Interesting. <laughs> Wow. So and I was going to say, like, it's no big deal. Like, regular maple syrup often goes for $10. That's not, that's not well, the like, thing crazy. is, like, those bottles, it's kind of deceptive. They're like this big, they're really small. Like, they're not like a normal mm -hmm. size okay. bottle. But then, like, also, like, one of the, the daughters, like, she's, she's eight or 10. I can't remember. But uh, even like she made a point to say something about the syrup. Mm -hmm. So I know that they all have talked about me. That's and smart. I remember one time his mom uh, said that uh, the the ex-wife, I guess, lied and said that I was talking shit about my boyfriend's parents. And she's like, did Anna say that? And I was like, I know I have nothing bad to say about his parents. So I'm like, ah, like the sisters, because I was telling my boyfriend, he's like, no fucking way like that. They're saying that. And I'm like, I wish I would have recorded it. I fucking wish I would have uh... recorded it. I but think I she's just, just jealous of petty. you. She's jealous of you. She's petty. She's insecure with herself. She's got to take mm -hmm. it out on someone else in the world. Like it's so weird. But it's like you're stuck on a mountain for like a week, and you're gonna. It's gonna be every single year. So why she's bored? Would you do that? She's insecure and she's bored. So she needs yeah. something to do and something to play with because she's too insecure to find a real hobby or real interest. This Does me and my Anna, Anna, you are the most chill person. Like one of the most laid back, fun people to be around. After Aww, spending, and like, beautiful seriously. and talented. Aww, I spent two you. days with you, like two full days with her, like at theme parks and doing things like feeding alligators and whatnot. Like, Anna, you are the most chill person I've met. I've brought to these <laughs> events with me and whatnot. Like, I don't. Patrick wants to know if Mio has syrup. They should. No, <laughs> but that wouldn't be the same. But no, I just, I just got irritated because I'm like, there's literally no reason for any of this drama and she's making it and now and I, I told him I was like you I'm always nice to someone as long as they're nice to me like even if I don't agree with them like if you're nice to me I've absolutely no reason to be a dick to you but now I'm just like you lost the respect she, I had for you in her attempt to probably bond with other members in the house she might have been raised like kind of similarly mm. to I was in the in the fact that like not asking for shit was seen as like a virtue like having no particular wants or interests was seen as like a good thing like because the minute you ask for something specific it's like you're seen as high maintenance or like mm. you're you know like being greedy or um I don't know materialistic or something so maybe in her mind like asking for something in particular is well and didn't you know even ask her being like, extra didn't ask. <laughs> yeah or, or having, having I hate when want. people do that too. Yeah. I'm like, I said I'm fine, dude. I don't want it. And they'll just keep pressing it. I'm like, I really don't. I because I do not care. I don't care. I have no wants or needs really ever. I don't care. Like, I really don't care. I'm well, like, just I mean, no. <laughs> starting drama when there's like absolutely no need for it, it's just 
I don't see the logic in it at all. It's not even a matter of just starting drama because anyway, you can just honestly ignore that. But like if she's starting stuff with like your family and like a family that you care about and your personal relationships with these people, then yeah, that's that's pretty shady. It's pretty fucking evil. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she you know what's funny is after I bought the syrup and like there she saw she got a lot nicer to me after that because i she knows that i know that she was lying and i think she knows that i know that i must have overheard her in some way shape or form and then the brother's new girlfriend like barely talked to me after that but i don't know it was just and she lied about the price that's like a very high price jump that's weird like that's why like a did you double the high $10? price well, she made what a big you- point about it like it's in the organic section it was like yeah. ten dollars i'm like yeah, she this bitch only shops price. at Whole Foods. We're not yeah. good enough for her. <laughs> like, what? It was almost four dollars. Like, you can't complain if, about that. Like, I okay. know. She purposely lied about the price. About. Like, if she had said, "Oh, it was like five dollars," I can see how she rounded that up. But she yeah. doubled the she price. She really rounded she it up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> she look she really rounded it bitch. up. Nina has crazy girl energy. Wow, Joey, big play. Oh, I'm that shit crazy. But in this case, mm-hmm. it's like I keep my bat shit craziness like. You know, Me, myself, and I, I try not to project that onto other people, but you can paint it if you have to. Line. You know, <laughs> yeah. I think Anna has the right to be crazy right now because if someone was going to my family members and like people that I have close relationships with saying lies about me and saying that kind of stuff about me to people that I like value my relationship with, I'd be really angry too. I'd be really upset. Mm-hmm. So there's there no was- reason to. Bruce says, Anna, Leanne, there are just some people who are not comfortable with those who are content with their own company. My family and I call those people weak ass whiner babies. Mm-hmm. True yeah, that. Uh, oh, yes, we know. We asked that about Gavin already. Thank you. Tits out. That's a fascinating story. And I, and I was actually asking if your pussy would ever go back to normal after a week after the Mount Shasta cousin love. Fa- All right. Russell, I was not Matt. I was not at Mount Shasta, and there was none of that. None of that. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, tits out. Hey, Russell wanted to know what does the daughter say? Oh, with that lady before that Gavin was talking to Hunter. Chris, you didn't read my first super chat. Okay. Uh, I will get to it. Chris Green, hail Chris. You get to see you with your crystal clean vagine. <laughs> well, not according to Gavin. Uh, the trick to mm-hmm. cocaine is to keep doing cocaine. <laughs> Only if you're Pat, drunk. Pat Maloney, how are you devils atoning the 620 for evil ways? Oh God, I guess I didn't know. I didn't know I had to atone, but I guess I'll just pray and uh, maybe I could give up high noons. <laughs> is that atoning? Yeah, uh, it's good enough. I feel like I'm living pretty straight and narrow these days. Uh, flagrant triggers. Everyone missing the point of the red flag push. It it pu- punishes and, and disarms almost exclusively one side of the aisle. Non Dems trying mm-hmm. to get my, trying to get to mines, Chrissy. Oh yeah, let me know. I can get you a discounted ticket. I really want to see you perform, Chrissy. It's funny that you're you're going to be in Orlando this week, and I won't be in Florida. Uh, I'm not going to be at that show. Oh. I'm going to be hosting the Mines event next Saturday at the Beacon oh. Theater. But I would love to s- let me know like when your whole dates are, and I want to come out and watch you perform. Ooh, yeah. I can put them on right now. I know. I want to see you live, too. Put on my website. Oh, my <laughs> God. How convenient. Let's pull it up right now. I just had some more dates added. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, so this next set. Sat- God, this Saturday. Fuck. I'm shitting my pants. I'll be hosting the Minds Festival of Ideas at the Beacon Theater. Going to be fun. Tim Poole will be speaking. Zuby, James O'Keefe, Tulsi Gabbard. Um, lots, lots of cool mm-hmm. people. Then I'm headlining Stand Up New York July 14th. Then I'll be in Buffalo at the Nickel City Cigar Spot on Saturday, July 16th. And actually before that, in between, I'll be in Tannersville, New York that Friday, uh, July 15th. Then I'll be headlining in Syracuse at the Funny Bone Sunday, July 17th. I'll be in Austin Thursday, September 8th at Cap City Comedy Club. Philly at the Helium Comedy Club Wednesday, September 14th. Then I'll be in New Orleans for four shows September 30th and October 1st at the Comedy House New Orleans. Then Comedians of the Compound at the Orlando Improv <gasps> on Thursday, October 27th. This will be our content house 
That's Squad right. show, me, Anthony Cumia, and Gino Bisconti. This will be a fun show. That's and really we'll, fun. And then we'll start the stream probably like right after the show. So good times, good times. Another content house. There is free <laughs> content house. Harry White wrote, Chrissy, did you hear about the UK proposed bill to restrict homeschooling? Only the state can indoctrinate your kids. Yeah, this is fucking crazy. That's awful. Yes. That is disgusting. Just makes me want to homeschool my kids even harder. The kids mm -hmm. I don't have. Punch ups. Please don't forget my earlier soups. All right. Well, I read that one twice. I guess does that count? From Porch, even in ladies to Olivia's point about Biden, what does it say about his wife, family, and friends that they let him run for president? They're yeah. probably honestly like slaves at this point. Like that whole crew. They probably Joe Biden have looks a like choice. a handler, dude. Like oh, not his gosh. wife. At Their all. lust for money, power, and status is perverse and un unending. Free Joe Biden. Yeah, I feel like they sold their souls. The whole lot of them. Yeah, for no, sure. Uh, nomad. Uh, a man was killed by police over red flag law just because a family member didn't like his political views. Damn. I believe it. <sighs> it's like you can cancel a idea. your family. <laughs> Crash Mondo. Trump and Ron DeSantis have both defended red flag laws. Damn, really? Well, they're fucking yep. idiots, then. <laughs> What yep. is a red flag law? Basically, like you. Oh, Anna is crazy, so we should be able to take all her guns from her. Yeah, you basically um, tattle on someone you don't like, and they can take. Oh, your guns. like that person showing red flags. Okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was like a communist thing. I wish there could be red flag it laws. Is. With it is a communist thing. <laughs> that, Very that's communist. <laughs> Not <for mine. laughs> What's up, you knock my mind? Currently in the middle of my own off the grid family retreat. I'm glad the one time I got a signal was when you interviewed Gavin. Gotta go to bed. Have a great night, ladies. Thanks, Enoch Maman. Oh. Tits out again. Uh, even Joe Biden doesn't know what he's going to do from day to day. Everyone is scared of him. Uh, I can't imagine being scared of him. He's I don't know. Yeah. He's probably like just he's like an old man that, that would just get randomly like, cranky. Did you see him fall off the bike? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We covered Dude, all I mean, that. At this point, I'm like, it's elder abuse. Like, what are you... It is. That's like, what I'm saying. It is elder abuse. abuse. He just wants to eat ice cream and watch TV, and you're making him ride bikes and be a president. Like, what the fuck? He mm -hmm. doesn't want to do that shit. <laughs> yeah, it's really bad. Uh, visitor Snafu, come check out Dead Lizard Brewing when you're in Orlando. All right, I'll write that down. Are you shuffling cards? Anna, <laughs> that's not me. You shouldn't be. Oh. That was oh. me on accident. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That was me. Are you on shuffling cards? I I have a fidgeter for my autism here. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Just mute the microphone. <laughs> or I'll mute I, it for I, you. I usually did. It's fine now. It's fine. I put it away. I put it in the corner. Okay. Red Rooster. Brittany. Oh, she's not here. Did you know you were featured on a Darius M video? Thoughts. All right, we'll have to tuck that one away for when she's back. Mm -hmm. uh, let me go through. I I think I honestly... Did you say something about Boston? Was that what your previous Super Chat said? I don't know if it's like relevant right now. Um, Let's see. Dirt is free. I read that. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay, I got that. I got that. The simp dollars... Do, do, do. J Gavin would fight a trans woman. That's good. G oh, Boise Bird. Gavin, help Brittany Venti find a man. I think she has a man currently. Um, <laughs> Gavin made Brittany Venti. Gavin loves. Co oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks, quartering. We did that one. The bald eagle one. I wish I could build a fire for all the bombs. Oh, Russell Hall. Okay. Don Zalog Simcast be like. It does be like that. Um, da, 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 da. I got that. The bird, the bald eagle thing. DeSantis 2024. Thank you, Hoosier Films. Um, does Gavin have that 1% pedo thought about Anthony Cumia? Probably not because he isn't. Uh, what does the adult star's daughter say? Oh, right. Yeah, like that. I wonder how old she is. Um, I think I'm kind of remote. Gavin, da, da, da. yeah. Oh, Olivia. Yeah, I think I got it all. 
Oh, Hunter, you said Boston is one of my favorite cities. Okay. <laughs> That's what we were waiting for. I got a pit. That was the, what we were waiting for. I thought it was going to be like something crazy and, and something controversial. Groundbreaking. I'm like peeing my pants almost. I have to say it. Okay. Austin Kayser, Gavin is cold blooded for assaulting the insecurities of women in their late 30s by telling them it's too late for children. That was uncomfortable. He's not. He's not. He's Austin, just being a douche. He's wrong. He's, yeah. I mean, like, I'm probably not like the most marriable chick. Like, I, I definitely, like, my mom was right when she was like, Chrissy, you're wasting your best dating years doing comedy like i laughed at the time but she was 100 percent right um well isn't he kind of being a hypocrite because his wife had her their kids in her late 30s that's why i think he was just being a douche he wasn't like yeah, serious I, might just be sarcasm um yeah i'm also not like you know i get it yeah he was just know? poking her vagina a little bit <laughs> he was next time you gotta make it. fun of his dick <laughs> it's like when you can sober. Only, yeah i mean it's like you can't <laughs> Someone has to want to. You can't like force that sort of thing. Was well, someone like Ron DeSantis like wanting to support red flag laws? Like, I'm just surprised that so many conservatives and people who are Republicans want him for president. Yeah, that's who true. I'll have to look into that. The Ron DeSantis is the governor of Florida. And a lot of conservatives like him a lot because uh he's just he's been fighting against a lot of stuff that the Democrats want to do, but he's pro red flag laws. So Mm. I only really like stuff that cert like they some things they do like people that are just die hard for Trump or dissent like that's weird to me like they're not right. perfect and you're I don't like worship any of these fucking people politics like, on both sides is a cult yeah it's weird I feel that's like why, all my comments are like MAGA MAG I'm like dude I don't do anything with Trump I have nothing MAGA like yeah he's cool but he was hawking the vaccine for one which is fucking weird and he's the father of the vaccine I'm highly against that so no yeah <laughs> like it's weird like who cares stop worshiping politicians and shit who gives a that's fuck true. they don't care about you none of them people, do people really do want a hero so it's there ain't none, man. Maybe yeah. Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's the only hero we're coming close to. So oh, you Paul. Whenever I it. hear that, I just think of like this scene in Shrek 2 where Fairy Godmother singing, I need a hero. Me too. That's what I thought too. Because <laughs> I was just Ashton, what it. is uh Russell wants to know what your fidgeter is? Um, so it's basically like you know how there's like fidget spinners and then there's, Show there's like the little fidgeter. poppy bobbles. So I actually use like a popper. <laughs> Let's see your popper. <laughs> it's so autistic. No. What is that? What does that even mean? Anything can be autistic. It's like so. You, so basically, what they made is they made um. What like I've been fidgeting with stuff all day on my 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 desk. So like I I try to mute myself whenever I can. So I have my wallet here, I have a water bottle here, and then I have my little like thing. It's it's supposed to be like you know how they have bubble wrap, but instead of like the bubble wrap being popped, it's like you can never unpop the bubble wrap. So you're not going to show us. It's just like such a meme. If I put, if I, if people like my screen cap and be like, oh, ha ha ha, the autist with her fidgeter. Like, I, I have fidget spinners, but like, I, I'm a little embarrassed by them. Okay, moving on. Paul's <laughs> dirt. Thank you for the super sticker. Thank you, Jesus Davila. Local, local Miguel. First Sim Chat Super. Love you all. That's Star Wars Girl. See you at AM. Oh, and we not sorry, and which I'm not been trying to bug Chrissy into coming to. Okay, it's the last weekend in July, you said? Okay, okay, okay. I got to figure that out. Enoch Maman, I forgot to mention this. I played your comedy album for my dad today. Oh, it's safe to say you have a new fan. Now I'm actually going to bed. Good night. Wow, thank you. I'm glad somebody's dad listened to my comedy album. Cool. <laughs> uh, it's sad because it's true. I feel like a Wait. lot of dads listen to it. As long as, yeah, I think I have a lot of dad that are fans just not my own tits out oh it's russell again no. oh okay i assumed fidgeter was slang for <laughs> taurus i mean that is hmm. the original fidgeter right there <laughs> it's all good i actually like i have stuff that i play with like i always have crystals on my desk ashton like i'm always like either touching a crystal or it just feels I have, good. like hair ties that i'm fucking with or like yes. oh, i have a hair tie yeah. right now but that's the thing is like mm -hmm. I like sometimes take like a headband and I'll try like do like this like under the table. It just like helps anxiety and helps like all the stimulation in the brain and whatnot calm down. Totes. The only poppers I had heard of are the ones that make 
a gay man's butthole open up. <laughs> what? Poppers. They're like that's like a popular drug. Like a party popper. Community. No, it's yeah. like a popper for your asshole. Like it makes your asshole go. Ah. Ooh, that sounds really well, yeah. dangerous. <laughs> like I don't. Sounds like, treacherous. Yeah. It's um happy pride. <laughs> Poppers, guys. Uh, me and a bunch of my coworkers want to see your show in Syracuse. Is there a way to get discounted tickets? Ooh, no, no, not right now. <laughs> not for Syracuse. Okay, no Riker. But go. It's worth it. Are you going to Missouri, which is in Houston? Or take pictures with everyone. Else. And take pictures. What did you say, Ashton? Are you going to Missouri, which is in Houston? I have to figure that out. I might I go. I gotta find a place to stay first. I can go. get a flight. Another Putin <laughs> tea in the bag for one of the simps. Oh yeah. Some people don't like that rooting for Putin shirt. Oh shit. Uh 7-Eleven is an inside job. Simp for me, ladies. Found my cat's head in the yard killed by dogs? What? Oh, no. The head? She helped me out of a dark depression. Rest in peace, Madam Cur Curie. That's Please so toast sad. Your oh, Jesus. my God. Fucking savages, man. That's I want to get a new like kitten and don't let it outside. Ever. Yeah. Just don't. You have rabid oh. dogs. Mm. Don't do it. Yeah. Do your cat. Don't I'm cry. I'm so Ashton. sorry. Mm-hmm. I don't would have you, anything to drink. Would you show I'm your fidgeter for the dead cat? Mm -hmm. I'll show this. I'll try to like do a little trick with my headband if he wants me to. Well, that sucks. All right. That's really <laughs> sad. Can't you just get a new cat for free? Oh. It's still sad though, because I feel like with like okay. certain people, like they get so attached to their pets and like you build a bond with that pet. It is so sad. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm so Bruce sorry. Maximus. Ashton to occupy occupy your hands have you tried lock picking does wonders for me and i can pick locks by reflex now freaked my boss out when he forgot his keys and i breezed his front door that's pretty cool that is something i want to like learn how to do because i have been in situations where i've been locked out of like my own like house and i've had to like climb in through like the top story window and then you could get scouted for oceans 11 you could join a team of <laughs> like casino villains what if we're the next oceans 11 <laughs> oh they God. sell a lock picking kits on Amazon for like 40 bucks. Really? No mm -hmm. That sounds pretty cool. I'll, maybe I'll learn how to do it. That's pretty awesome. Man, I have to pee really bad too. Me too. I'm going to pee myself. Okay. 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 Leanne, Leanne, uh, where can people find you and follow you? And Ooh. yes. Um, it's just Leanne Star or Leanne Star 23 on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. Same. Just Leanne Star 23. <laughs> Did you like Gavin? Was that the first time you like. Were you aware of him before? Um, yeah, just because I didn't get to say it to him, but I like I went undercover and was talking to Antifa members, and they do dress up in Trump shit. But there's yeah. like a lot I to knew that. It. But... I fucking knew it. Yeah. Yeah, they, I, there's like a lot of shit they told me, but I'm supposed to like talk to him again. I was trying to get him to stream with me, but he is weird, and he's not in it now. But he doesn't know. I'm like, no one cares, man. Who cares? Antifa's yeah. stupid. They're but sleeping. yeah, I didn't get to tell him though. He's pretty drunk, so he was just <laughs> whatever. Uh, well, I'm sure you'll talk to him again. Anna, uh, is that a face hugger? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Leanne and Chrissy, why don't you guys just mute and run to the bathroom? It creeps me out. Uh, we're yeah. plugging out. Well, shit. Oh, got you. I mean, e well, I didn't know everyone was like talking, and I didn't want to be rude. And then, like, no, I was like, good. "Well, are we gonna get off?" And I'll just stay. And then I don't know. Now I'm like, I don't know. Are we leaving? I don't know. I'll no, stay. I don't care. It's I'm just good. gonna piss. Good. Um, Anna, Anna, where can people follow you? Uh, go follow me on my all my accounts, which is just look up that Star Wars girl, and you will find me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You should put that boysenberry syrup on like your uh, links. On your Amazon wish list. You know what? I have just, I got it. I vented to you guys. It's out of my system. I just want to move on. But Aww. I left a bottle there for next time. And you know what? I feel like next time I should go to Costco or like at least get like a Costco and load of boysenberry syrup and bring for it. Sure. For sure. Just for next time, you know? <laughs> yeah. Ashton. Hi. Uh, you can follow me on YouTube, Ashton the Slytherin. I recently made a video on Marilyn Monroe's dress and how Kim Kardashian's butt ruined it. So if you want to go check out the history is. of that dress. I know. It's like a national treasure. It's worse than burning the American flag. So when I get, if you want to watch a history video on Marilyn Monroe and that dress, 
I just made a new video. I'm Ashton Slytherin on Instagram and YouTube and the Ashton Blaze on Twitter. So yeah. Amazing. Guys, thank you for watching the Simcast. Yeah, check out one of my stand-up shows if you're in the New York area or New Jersey or Connecticut. I better see you at this Minds event uh, on Saturday, the 25th. If you need a discounted ticket, hit me up. I can give you a special code. And yeah, wet spot is tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern on Compound Media. What else? Doing a couple interviews this week. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time. Bye. Peace out.